Don't tamper with the prescription. Take it. Believe it. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. It's for every generation. Look, the promise isn't to you and to your children and to them as far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Every person, this prescription is to it. Not a handshake or something, but the prescription. Exactly the way Peter spoke it here and wrote it out. And God wrote it by the Holy Spirit in Acts 2.38 is to repent, every one of you. Not just say, well, repent. Uh, well, I'm going up and join the church. That doesn't mean that. Well, I'll go up and be baptized and I'll do it. No, sir, water don't save you. Repent yes, or perish. Yes. Not baptism to regeneration. I know some of you believe that, but how can you ever take that? No, sir, repent. The prescription said repentance come first. Right. Then be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. As you've repented, then you're a candidate for the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And the promise isn't to you and your children and them as far off. Oh, you Methodists, Baptists, Presbyterians, Nazarenes, Pilgrim, Holiness, Catholics, Pentecostals. What's the matter? What's the matter? When God comes down to speak in His power and glory, then you'll wonder what it's all about. That's the reason you've got these creeds and things and injected these dogmas and things to its way off. Children, come back. That's the way back. Take the prescription. Get rid of this sin, disease, this unbelief. Come back to God. Believe it with all your heart. Let us pray. I believe you, Lord. I come with this church tonight. I believe, Lord, with as honest a hearted people as I've ever met. I pray, Lord, that they will not think that we say these things within ourselves. May they find out that it's a burden, a heartache to have to say these things. But yet, a true physician will be true to his description. Lord, may it be filled in every heart tonight. If people in yours only receive the baptism of John, as Paul found them, may they realize that there is another baptism. That there is a Holy Spirit baptism. If only thing they know is shaking the hand of a minister or joining a creed, may they be filled with your Holy Spirit. Grant it, Lord. May they come humbly and have this privilege and come back to Azusa Street again. Come all the way back to Pentecost again, to the kingdom and the glory of God. I offer them to you before your golden altar where our sacrifice Jesus Christ lays. Receive us, Father. You are God. You is always God. You will always be God. Your words cannot fail. When you stood here incarnate on earth in your own Son, a tabernacle that you built to dwell in, how that blinds people. Well, doesn't a carpenter build himself a house to live in? Did not God, the great builder, build himself a house to live in? Oh, God, let them see that it's not the house, it's what's in the house, the builder of the house. And may they realize that this Holy Spirit, through the death, burial, and resurrection of that house that God lived in, through that unadulterated blood of his own creation, cleansed the way that God might dwell in the heart of we sinners by grace. Now you carry on your work through your church through the instrumentality of man, which has always been your way of doing it. God made men and women here tonight, down in their hearts, hunger and thirst. We are in Jubilee time. We're celebrating, Lord, this week of Jubilee, of your great grace and holiness that you poured out upon your church 50 years ago here in this state. And Father God, this is Jubilee time, and the people know how to come back is the way they started out the first time. Come back to the Holy Spirit. Come back to rejecting these dogmas that denomination has injected into it. Come back and be healed of the power of God. Granted, Father, now we know that these things is all work for good as your promise, because you give it a type in Israel as we had last night. Now let the God of, of Jesus Christ, let he who was Emmanuel, let he that stood on the earth here and said, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also. Let it be done, Lord. We commit the service, the words, forgive the broken up way of being done, Lord. 
but I pray that you'll sink it into every heart and it'll bring forth a holy church filled with the Spirit back to the day of Pentecost again. In Jesus' name, I give it to you. Amen. Do you believe? I want your undivided attention for just a few moments. I want you to believe with all your heart. The Bible says, the Lord God has promised us that as many as believe were saved. Now, that sounds awful little, but you see, when you really believe, that's all you can do. Then a God has to, when you really believe it, then God pours out the Holy Ghost upon you, and then God vindicates His Word. Now, the Bible said, wait a minute, I believe before I do this, I believe there was going to be a prayer line. Is that right? Yeah. All right. How many wants to go back to Pentecost? Raise up your hand. How many believes that the prescription is still good? Amen. It sure is. The baptism of the Holy Ghost, not an education, not to go up and get your Ph.D. And then when Nicodemus come to the Lord Jesus, Jesus, he said, what must I do to have eternal life? A man 80 years old, been a priest all of his life. What must I do to have eternal life? Jesus didn't say, go polish up on your scholarship. No. He didn't say, go seek a higher office in your organization. No. He flatly told him. He, he, he absolutely rebuked him for being a man of his caliber and then not knowing those things, that you've got to be born again. Sure. That's the same thing tonight. See, we take it too lightly. We just take some kind of a sensation, say, I was born again, and go ahead, and your life proves out it doesn't do that? There's something wrong. Yes, sir. Oh, you say, but I know that man's a good man, no matter how good he is. That don't have nothing to do with it. You don't meet any finer people in Mohammedans and things like that. Sweet and everything, certainly not. Oh, no. Sometimes heathens, idol worshipers, sweet and humble as they can be. That doesn't mean nothing. No, sir, these signs shall follow them that believe. That's what the doctor said. This is the result of inoculation. <laughs> there you are. Yes, sir, that's the thing. The doctor said, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also. Did he say it? Amen. That's a sign of a believer. Amen. We take the sign of a good man goes to church and pays his tithes. That's good. That's fine. But that ain't what Jesus said. These signs shall follow them. The works that I do shall he do. Because if the life that's in a peach tree can be taken out of the peach tree and be injected into an apple tree, it will no more bear apples but peaches. Because the germ of life, of peach life, is in the apple tree and it's got to bear peaches. That's exactly right. Brother Williams is sitting here in front of me, a very personal, sweet friend of mine. I, he called Brother Sherritt this morning, and I had prayer for him over the phone. I was standing with Brother Sherritt one time in a citrus grove, and there was a tree standing there, a, a tree of, uh, I believe it was an orange tree, and it had, it had about four or five different kinds of fruit on it. And I said, well, what kind of tree is that, Brother John? He said, it's a uh, it is a orange tree. Well, I said, I see a grapefruit, a tangerine, a tangelo, a lemon, all these different fruits. He said, oh, yes. I said, how? He said, they're grafted. Well, I said, now, that's wonderful, isn't it? He said, yeah, anything the citrus life will live with it. That's very good. I stopped. Something stopped me. I looked again. Like that day in, over in Finland when that little boy was laying dead. I said, Brother Moore, that's that little fella I told you about right here in Shreveport. A little boy be raised from the dead in a certain place. I said, that's him. He's got to come back. Death can't hold him no more. God spoke. I said, death turn him loose. <laughs> here he was. <laughs> Amen. God can't lie. No, no. I said, Brother John, I see something. You see? I said, now I want to ask you something, Brother John, because I want to get a sermon out of this. I said, now, next year, those, all those uh, uh, citrus fruits, like uh, lemon and tangerine and uh, grapefruit, all that will drop off and it'll bear oranges. He said, oh, no, 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 no. He said, it'll bear its kind. 
He said, the one that's got a Lehman branch in it will bring a Lehman. And the one that bears, has got a, a, a tangerine will bear a tangerine. Well, I said, yeah, I thought you said it was an orange tree. He said, yes. I said, did he quit bearing oranges? He said, no. When the original tree puts out original vine, it bears an orange. That's it. That's it. These denominations that have been grafted in, they're still bearing denominational fruit, membership, so forth. But when the tree puts out original branch again, there'll be a book of Acts wrote behind it. I am the vine, ye are the branches. Why? The life that's, that's injected from the original vine puts forth a branch. It is a Pentecostal branch with Pentecostal results. For the life of Christ is in the branch, and it does his works. Uh, I haven't got the gift of speaking in tongues, but I sure feel like I'd like to. Uh, oh, how the Spirit bears record in my soul. It bears record with the word that these things are true. Do you believe how many of you in here that's got prayer cards? Raise up your hand. Now put your hands down. How many in here that does not have prayer cards and yet you're sick, want something from God? Raise up your hand. All right, you believe. A heavenly Father. I know I'm standing before an audience that's quite a few of them are new, feeling your spirit settling down now. I've spoke your word and read your prescription. I've told the people that's the way back. Now Nicodemus recognized, and so did the Sanhedrin, when they seen you incarnate. They said, Rabbi, we know you're a man sent from God. For nobody could do these things that you do except God be with him. And that same group, knowing that, by the works that he said he did, and promised that his believers would do the same work, they called him Beelzebub and said his doctrine deceived the people. Time hasn't changed, Father. We're in another crop. But you stayed right on. Unbelief didn't stop you. You moved right on just the same, doing what the Father told you to do. When you made your clear statement, said, I do nothing, the Son can do nothing in himself but what he sees the Father doing. You could tell Philip where he was at under the tree when Nathaniel found him. You could tell Simon that he was the son of Jonas called his name in his father's name. You told the woman at the well, you, your faith of one blind man stopped you. A little woman with a blood issue touched the border of your garment, wholly impossible for you to feel it physically, but you stopped and told her her troubles and said they had ceased. Let that life that was in Christ come into this group just a few moments, Lord, that they might know that you're still God. I've just got through telling him, Lord, your word. Man coming around and saying this, that, and every little gimmick. But Lord, what does it testify of? There's a real one somewhere. Lord God, let it come forth tonight. Let the Holy Spirit speak and not man. Give faith to this church, Lord. I realize you just couldn't anoint one of us. You've got to anoint many of us. Anoint us together, Lord, is your church. Let it be known that you're God and I've told the truth. I'm standing on your word, even through opposition, but I've tried to be true. Not saying that for myself, Lord, and not that these people hear me, but I'm praying because the showdown is at hand. I pray that you'll vindicate your word tonight, Lord, that it is the truth, that the life that was in Christ lives in his church and his believers. Granted, Father, through Jesus Christ's name, amen. I want everyone to be just as reverent as you can. How many of you are strangers to me? Raise up your hands. 
I could just feel it. <laughs> You've never been in the meetings before. Now, Jesus Christ said in his word, in St. John 14, 12, He that believeth on me the works that I do, shall he do also. Do you believe that? The Bible said Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You believe that? Hebrews 13, 8. All right. Now, the only way to know whether it's Christ or not is not a dress because he dressed like an ordinary man. If he's sure tonight, he'd wear a suit of clothes like we got on. It wasn't his dress. It wasn't because he had beard or didn't have beard. It was a life that was in him that proved what he was. Lots of people dressed like him in that day, but there wasn't he. That's right. Many people today do the same thing, but it don't change it a bit. It's a life. Now, the way that they know that he was the Christ is because they had to go by what the Scripture said the Christ would be. Is that right? Now, what did Moses tell them that Christ would be? He would be a prophet like himself. Is that right? And they all looked for it. Because God had told them, if there be one among you who is spiritual or a prophet, I, the Lord, will speak to him. If it is, it will be true. If it isn't, then don't hear him. That's only logical. And now, when Jesus raised up and when... He started into his ministry, and Simon came up, Peter. He told him his name was Simon, and told him that his name was Simon, and his father's name was Jonas. Is that true? That made a believer out of him. Philip went and found, or uh, uh, Nathaniel went and found Philip under a tree and said, Come see who we found. And when he told him what had been taking place, he didn't, kind of disturbed about it. And when he got over there, Jesus looked right straight at him and said, Behold an Israelite in whom there's no God. Now, he was a, he was a teacher. He was a man who knew it. He said, Rabbi, didn't you ever know me? He said, before Philip called you, when you were under the tree, I saw you. He said, Rabbi, you're the son of God. You're the king of Israel. That settled it. See? The woman at the well, when he spoke to her, many all through the scripture, they know that when he was coming, he was going to be a God prophet. That was his sign. It's always been and still is. Then he noticed that when we find out this woman come out, he said, woman, bring me a drink. I want to carry a conversation with her. She says, it's not customary for Jews to ask me a woman of Samaria. Such things we don't have no dealings with one another. He said, but if you knew who you were talking to, you'd ask me for a drink. She said, the well is deep. You have nothing to draw with and so forth. He said, go get your husband and come here. She said, I have no husband. He said, that's right, you've had five. And the one you're living with is not your husband. You told the truth. She said, sir, now when the Pharisees see him do that, they said he's a fortune teller, Beelzebub. See? But that prostitute, she said, sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. We know that when the Messiah cometh, he'll tell us these things. That'll be the sign of the Messiah. We know when he comes, he'll tell us these things. He said, I'm he that speaks to you. And right away she ran into the city and said, Come see a man who told me the things I've done. Isn't this the very Messiah? And the man of the city believed the woman and believed on Christ. Is that right? No wonder he said, If I do not the works of my father, believe me not. Now, we don't have to be smart. We don't have to be educated. We have to believe. We have to humble ourselves and empty ourselves for God to manifest Himself through us. Empty up yourself. Get yourself out of the way. The biggest enemy you have is yourself. Now you believe God. Do you do it? Now if God, our Father, which is the Holy Ghost, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ is the Holy Ghost. We know that. That which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And if that Holy Spirit can come into you and I and perform the very life that Christ lived, where's your place of doubt? Then I've told you the truth about returning, going back. You believe that? If he will do it, I don't say he will. Now, remember, people believe that these days is past, but he promised it in the last days. Each one of us has offices. We have to be loyal to this office. God, it's the Word, 
The Word's made flesh and dwelt among us, and the Word tonight is in our flesh to manifest itself to prove that He's God in us. It bears fruit of Him. Certainly. If I told you the spirit of Dillinger was in me, you'd expect me to have guns. If I told you the spirit of, of uh, artists is in me, you'd expect me to paint a picture. If I tell you the spirit of Christ is in me, then do the work of Christ. That's what He said. Would it help you to believe? Let me tell you a little something. Speaking at Aquinas before some doctors <coughs> at a meeting the other day, I'd taken a physical with a famous doctor. I'm going overseas. I had a physical <coughs> examination. I did this purposely. And he was letting me, he gave me an upper and lower GI. And after taking the heart, blood, and everything, thank God it was fast. <laughs> so when I, I drank in this spare a meal, I just made myself real tense. And he pressed on my stomach. He looked through the x-ray. He said, Brother Branham? I said, yes, sir. He said, your stomach feels normally, but it, nothing goes out. I said, I don't. And I said, it's supposed to? He said, yes, sir. He said, ma, I don't understand. I said, uh, what shall I do? He said, think of something real good to eat. I said, why do you only do that for? Notice what he's going to say. And uh, he said, a nice big juicy steak. I said, I'll compromise for a plate of fried squirrel with pinto beans. And he said, all right, to start off. I changed and started thinking. He said, there she goes. I said, what did that, Doc? He said, a little electrical wire in your brain sent word down to your stomach. I said, is that right? Then speaking. I said, you remember the little wire? I said, Doctor, what makes you dream? Did you dream? He said, yes. I said, what is it, a part of you that's dreaming? He said, your subconscious. I said, a normal human? Here's one conscious, and here's a subconscious. You have to go to sleep to get into that conscious. He just told me, he said, I found something, Brother Branham. Again, I can't explain it. He said, it's not your nerves. He said, it's something inside of your nerves. I said, my soul? He said, yes. Said, I, it is what makes you what you are. And I said, I asked him about visions. He didn't know nothing about it. So I told him, I said, one conscious is here, the other one's here. You have to get out of this conscious. Let it become dormant in order to get in here. But some part of you went somewhere because you can remember dreams and places you was at in your dreams years and years away. I said, that's right. I said, you see, that's normal. But God so sets it to some of us that our first conscience and subconscious is right together. We don't go to sleep. God just uses it to see things that was and which is and shall come. That's prophetic. And he said, Mr. Branham, I've read your books on healing. He said, I certainly agree with you. So I'm going to tell you. He said, we have absolute cases here. I can prove it. Science, if there's a doctor, Post can tell you that. He said, let a person have a malignancy or a tubercular or an ulcer or something that's real bad. We know it's going to kill him. And we'll tell him that. And said, if he gets all tore up, flustered, angry, upset, and going on, said, that patient will die right away. But so that patient, usually if he's a Christian or something, he doesn't mind dying. It's just one of the things we have to do. The dying is part of living. So he just goes ahead and takes it on. I lift him a times out. Said that almost that attitude retires that case. Said he'll linger on and on and on and on before he kills him. I said, all right, doctor, let me finish my story. I said, put a lie detector on your arm and stand and try your best to make a lie sound like the truth and watch that needle go negative. Why? It's a vibration in your nerves. You wasn't made to lie. You were made to tell the truth. A lie is such a horrible thing to interrupt your nerves. You ain't made to be angry. You're supposed to be at peace like a child with God. See? You're not supposed to be frustrated. You're supposed to have faith. Walk with God. See? And I said, that's it. I said, now, doctor, if the, this man living in this first conscience can take the attitude that if he dies, he's saved, so what difference does it make? It'll retire the case for a long time. What will it do when it drops out of that first conscience back into the second on the baptism of the Holy Ghost? It'll take the case completely away. A doctor raised up and said, marvelous. Tears run down his cheek. I said, doctor, you know what's the matter? I said, our churches don't teach that. He said, Mr. Branham, that's truth. I said, we need to go back to Pentecost. He said, I'm Presbyterian. He said, my wife is Presbyterian. I said, you joined a Presbyterian lodge. He said, that's about it. 
I said, Doctor, a Christian is born again. You can't go join. You got to be born. He said, Mr. Brown, that's the truth. And tears are going to run down his cheeks. I'm going to baptize him pretty soon now. <laughs> huh. What? If your frustrations will hold that up there and your one conscious will drop it down and make your body function right, what will it do when you let the Holy Spirit roll in? It will perform everything that Christ promised. You become an instrument of the Holy Spirit. When I was born, there's a light hanging there. You got the picture here somewhere. That's truth. By dying over this platform, science has proved it the truth. Now, to me, I'm a man. I'm nothing. I'm just your brother. There's nothing to me. But the Holy Spirit, in predestination, foreordained gifts, God has set in the church. Not what some elder lady's hands on. God set in the church, first apostles, then prophets, and so forth. God set them in there. There are divine gifts foreordained of God. Before Jeremiah the prophet is ever born, God said, I know you for you is even in your mother's belly and ordained you a, a prophet to the nations before you ever come out of the womb. Is that right? Amen. He had nothing to do with it. God does that. He's still God. Amen. Now you believe with all your heart. And you that's sick or have a need of God, just say, Lord God, I've heard this message astounding to me. I've heard this man claim that you're God and you're right here in the midst of people. If he is and he told something wrong, wherever two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Why? He's in you anyhow. And when he divides himself among you, it comes back to a unit again. Now you have to be part of that unit to believe that this part of the unit can operate. If he gave me a ministry, he's got somebody who'll believe it. Or there'd be no need of giving me a ministry. That's right. You believe with all your heart and see if God doesn't do the thing. Now, I don't want you people with prayer cards. I want you people who hasn't got prayer cards because we're going to call the prayer cards. I want you to take this in your mind. i be a real reverend. Christ, now, Christ could heal because he healed by vision when the Father told him. That's right. He never healed anybody or performed one miracle until he saw a vision first. How many knows that? St. John 5, 19. He said it himself. He's God and can't lie. But you see, healing has already been purchased now. The sacrifice is made. He can still proclaim himself by prophecy and show his signs, but healing, you have to believe him. If he's standing here tonight and you say, Lord, will you heal me? He said, I've already done it. Don't you believe it? For he was wounded for our transgressions. With his stripes we were healed. Do you understand that? Now, you believe it and see if he's still alive. What a challenge. I challenge that before half a million people sent it against me, Bombay, India. I challenge it before 250,000 Durban, South Africa. Watch God moving on the scene. 30,000 blanket natives stowed down their idols and become Christians at that minute. And women start naked as soon as Christ come up on them, folded their hands and walked away. And then women today in a Pentecostal church cutting off their clothes and acting. And then still say, you got the Holy Ghost. Some, I, I'm, I love you. You know that. But I'm, I'm, I'm zealous when I see my sister, God's daughter out there, see my brother so cowardly to have to stand behind some kind of a fail to preach the word of God that he knows the truth. See my sister conducting herself like some street woman instead of a saint of God. See some man afraid to stand up and proclaim the truth, afraid his denomination will kick him out, a son of God. I don't, that blood don't throw, throw right. Real genuine Christianity believes the word and holds it. Holds that promise. Now you're strangers. I'm looking around. I know Brother William sitting here. I see Sister Moore. I think that Sister Gutlayer is sitting by. I didn't recognize her last night. I'm trying to see if I see anybody that I know. Uh, this brother here, uh, I can't think of his name. <laughs> he, what? Brother Harris. 
I know him. Brother Sister Dow, sitting right here from Theta up in Ohio. That's about it. I believe I see Brother Collins. Is that right, Brother Collins? A good old Methodist boy received the Holy Ghost. <laughs> He's one of my deacons at the church now. God bless you, Brother Collins, Sister Collins.
that song on Calvary's hill of sorrow where sins demand were paid. Let's sing that. Song number 200, 207.
Father, come before you this morning. Thank you, Lord, for your want. Thank you, Lord, for what you did and what you have done. Dear God, we are here this morning. It has been a long week, Father, but you have gathered us here again. Knowing, Father, you cannot gather us for nothing, but there is something you have prepared for us. Heavenly Father, as we congregate here this morning, may you be pleased to come and speak to us in a special way. May you, Father, help us to lay down all what we have done, and Father, forgetting everything and coming to your feet this morning. Be with us, Lord. Be with the song service, Lord, and even the minister, Lord. We now put everything, Father, under your control. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Are you happy? Uh, let's stand up and uh, we sing for the Lord. Uh, we are supposed to sing. Let's, let's not be very serious because uh, we are not visitors. At least uh, we are familiar to one another. So there is this song, One Day When Heaven Was Filled With These Places. Let's sing song number 163. Uh, remembering its sister, so this song describes it all. Mm -hmm. One day when heaven was filled with his praises, and one day when sin was as black as could be, and Jesus came forth to be born of a virgin, and dwelt amongst men, my example Yeah. 
Lord. Amen. We are marching to Zion. Let's sing that song as we try to give us the key. We are marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We are marching up one to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Come with us, love the Lord. Joys be known. We join in a song with sweet accord. Join in a song with sweet accord. And I to Zion. Uh, we will not relax. I think uh, I've not seen any song request. 
But uh, let's also sing this song, Will work till Jesus come. O oh, land of rest, for thee I sigh. When will that moment come? Number 213. When I shall lay my armor by and dwell in peace at home. Amen. Are you longing for that time? Amen. Mm. Mm. O land of rest, for thee I sigh, when will the moment come? When I shall lay my arm by and dwell in peace at home, will Thank you. 
promise I go. There is a song from Brother Moses. But as Brother Moses will be singing, uh, the tithe and offering will be collected. So, Brother Moses, let's come and praise the Lord. Ah, mchungaji alitaka turegelee huu wimbo tuliimba Sande na dada but hayupo leo kwa ajili ya sababu fulani na nitamwakilisha bwana pe sifa <laughs> that is 279 if i naweza kusaidiwa nayo 279 if when you give the best of your service telling the world that the savior has come be not dismayed if men don't believe you he will understand and say well done my brother he will understand and say well done oh oh when i come to the end of life child oh weary of life and the battle is won oh carrying the stuff on the cross of Hallelujah, oh, when I come to 
Let's give Brother Silas a chance also. So, Brother Silas, come and worship the Lord. God bless you, saints. God is good. And all the time, you have a precious friend who is Jesus Christ. Amen. Give me a. A bit higher. I have a friend, a precious friend. Oh, how he loves me. He says his love will never end. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves me. I know not why I only cry. Oh, how he loves me. God bless you. If you know the song, you can join me. Bluegrass. I have a friend, precious friend, oh, how he loves me, for he says his love will never end, oh, how he loves me, and oh, how he loves me, I'm loved. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, 
Amen, amen. I know not why I only die. Oh, how we love me. What a nice song, what a nice song. Thank you, Brother Silas. Uh, I would request Brother Onesmas kindly come and pray for the for the tithe and offering. Let's pray. Baba Mwenyezi Mungu, tunakushukuru tena. Kwa neema ambayo Mwenyezi Mungu umetupatia, tangia tulipoanzia ibada yetu ya asubuhi ya leo na kufikia wakati huu Mwenyezi Mungu. Wana wako Mwenyezi Mungu wametoa zaka na sadaka na Mwenyezi Mungu tunazikabidhi mikononi mwako ili zikatende kazi ambayo Mwenyezi Mungu umeikusudia. Mwenyezi Mungu wale hawajeza kutoa. Mwenyezi Mungu ukawapi wakati mwingine wa kutoa Mwenyezi Mungu. Jaza kila mfuko Mwenyezi Mungu hili wanawako wakakutolee kwa sababu napenda zaka iliyotolewa kwa furaha. Tunakushukuru tunapoanzia ibada ambayo tunangojea muhuduma kuje kutuhubiria Mwenyezi Mungu. Tunamkabidhi mikononi mwako Mwenyezi Mungu ukamtoae ukamuondoshe njiani na Mwenyezi Mungu kazungumze na wana wako. Tunataka kusikia sauti yako Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ni hiyo sauti peke yake ambayo Mwenyezi Mungu inaturudisha pamoja na inatupatia ushirika ambao ni mkamilifu. Tunakushukuru kwa ndugu yetu Mwenyezi Mungu. Endelea kumpa neema brother Job Mwenyezi Mungu ukamuongezee zaidi ili atumikie wana wako Mwenyezi Mungu. Tunakushukuru kwa wapenzi wote ambao wameingia katika asubuhi ya leo. Mwenyezi Mungu wakasikie kutoka kwako kutana na haja za kila mmoja wao Mwenyezi Mungu na ukaweze kuwatimizia. Tuna mahitaji tofauti tofauti miongoni mwetu. Mwenyezi Mungu wewe ambaye unajua siri za mioyo yetu kutana na hizo haja na ukaweze kututimizia Mwenyezi Mungu. Tunakushukuru kwa kila jambo na ni katika jina la Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. 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 Uh, let's sing this song uh, once our blessed Christ of beauty was built of from human beauty. Let's stand up for a while. Oh beyond the man of sorrow the unveiled Christ. Let's sing that song. Once our blessed Christ of beauty was filled off from human view, but through suffering, death, and sorrow, he has rendered. Yeah. 
getting it We thank you because when this world was grouped in darkness and you came down, you were born by a woman. That was the beginning of the redemption story in the New Testament, Lord. And when you died and you cried out and you said it is finished we thank God because the veil was rent in twain. And where only one man would go there every year now each one of us has access into the Ole of Olis where your word is Lord. Today we thank you for giving us that opportunity as a people born by a woman who can enter that place by faith 
from the youngest to the oldest. Help us, Father, so that we can fellowship in the spirit of completeness. As we read your word, break it to be life among us. Remembering the dear saints who are out somewhere traveling, Lord. Others could be at home because of some challenges, Father. We pray for the house of faith. Wherever they are across the divide, Father, Baba. in the name of the Lord Jesus, Christ, say something to their hearts, Lord. That can make all the difference. And as we think about ourselves, as we think about this message, as we think about this journey, take away my will and give me your will. We commit all things unto you now. In Jesus' name I pray. I welcome you to the service today. Um, Thanking the Lord for his grace and mercy that he has allowed us to meet again. The Lord bless you so much. We do not have our precious brother, that is Sami. Uh, as I told you that they traveled and, and, uh, and I think they are having the service today at their home. That is in Kitui. Kule Kitui. So we would be going to 5, that is 2.56, that is for the scripture reading, 2.56. And he says, for I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing, for to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. Basi sasa, si mimi nafsi yangu, ninayotenda hilo, bali ni ile dhambi ikaayo ndani yangu. Kwa maana na jua ya kuwa ndani yangu, yani ndani ya mwili wangu, halikai neno jema kwa kuwa uh, kutaka na taka, bali kutenda lililo jema sipati. 19, it says that is 2.57. For the good that I would, I do not. I want you to listen very well. But the evil which I would not, that I do. Now, if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Amen. Kwa maana, lile jema nilipendalo, silitendi. Bali, lile baya, nisilolipenda, ndilo, nitendalo. Basi, kama lile... Uh, nisilopenda ndilo nitendalo si mimi nafsi yangu nitendaye bali ni ile dhambi ikayo ndani yangu 258 he says I find then a law that when I would do good evil is present with me for I delight in the law of God after the inward man basi nimeona sheria hii ya kuwa kwangu mimi nitakaye kutenda lililo jema Lipo lililobaya kwa maana naifurahia sheria ya Mungu kwa utu wa ndani 259 But I see another law in my members wearing against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is my members Lakini katika vingo vyangu naona sheria iliyo mbali inayopiga vita na ile sheria ya akili zangu na kunifanya mateka Ya ile sheria ya dhambi ilio katika viungo vyangu. 260. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind, so then with the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. Ole wangu, maskini mimi. Ni nani atakaye niokoa na mwili huu wa mauti? Namshukuru Mungu kwa Yesu Kristo Bwana wetu. Basi kama uh, kama ni hivyo mimi mwenyewe kwa akili zangu naitumikia sheria ya Mungu bali kwa mwili wangu sheria ya dhambi. Amen. Amen. We can sit down. Tazaketi.
Uh, I suddenly thank God for his grace. Kwa hakika nashukuru Mungu kwa neema zake. That he has allowed us to meet together today. Ya kuwa ametukubalia kupatana tena siku ya leo. And uh, I thank God that he has he has he has, um, he has been able to be with us on Friday. Nashukuru Mungu kwa alitukua nasi siku ya Ijumaa. Which, which was the beginning of Easter. Ambayo ilikuwa mwanzo wa siku ya Pasaka. And we are still moving on by God's grace. Na bado tunaendelea kwa neema za Mungu. Amen. Amen. I want to continue with the thought that I had on Sunday. Nataka kuendelea na wazo nililokuwa nayo siku ya Jumapili. And uh, my topic today will be slide 1. I've just gone back to pick it very well. Na mada yangu leo itakuwa katika onyesha la kwanza. And that will be human complexes and its effect to a person's nature. Inasema hivi vinyongo vya wanadamu na athari yake kwa utu wa binadamu. Amen. Human complexes. Vinyongo vya binadamu. I know on Sunday we were talking about a uh, uh, slide that should be slide 140. Jumapili tulikuwa tunazungumzia haya. Uh, is it 140 or 1 1 what? Uh, uh, I think that should be 139, is it? Childhood inflicted wounds. Vile vidonda vilivyowekwa katika hali ya utoto, tukiwa watoto. And effect to a person's nature. Na athari yake kwa asili ya, ya mtu. And uh, we realized na tulitambua that the things that happened to you when you are young. Ya kwa mambo ya liokutukia ukiwa mdogo, ulivokuwa mdogo. Young does young. not exactly mean, it might still mean as you grew up mdogo inaweza yaashiria pia ukiendelea kukua or it can still mean whatever may have gotten you after you are born ama inaweza maanisha kile ambacho kilikukumba baada ya kuzaliwa an event tukio fulani may have crossed your paths huenda ilipita njia yako and from that day na kutoka siku hiyo when that happened hiyo ilipotukia it changed your way of life. Ilibadilisha njia yako ya, ya maisha. It affected the inner you. Iliathiri utu wako wa ndani. Whether I could be housed in an old body. Yakuwa niko katika mwili uh, mwenye umri. I could be housed in an old body. Uenda niko katika mwili mwenye umri. But the inner child. Lakini yule mtoto wa ndani. The inner boy. Yule kijana wa ndani. Who was injured when I was five years. Ambaya liumizwa nikiwa uh, miaka mitano. Still lives in our lives today. Bado anaishi katika maisha yetu siku ya leo. And so therefore. Ivo basi. Uh, if a wound. If we don't find closure on our wounds. Kama hatuta shugulikia vidonda vietu. And we close them up. Na tuzifunike. By the because we saw on Sunday, it is the word of our day that uh, 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 that is able to correct the error. There is balm in Gilead. And that is why when I come to church, I must tell God. Lazima Work with my faculties. Fanya kazi na utu wangu, I am giving zangu. out myself unto you. Because Kwa sababu, I am just a piece of the master. Mimi ni sehemu tu ya yule mku, which is in the making. Ambaye, bado All the time. Kila wakati. And God is working in my subconsciousness. Hey, Mungu kazi akili yangu God nandani. is working in my heart. Mungu kazi God yangu. is working in my mind. Mungu kazi zangu. And every time Na kila wakati. the word goes forth. Neno God put something in my heart. Mungu anaweka jambo fulani ndani ya roho yangu. I understand that word. Nikielewa neno hilo. Or I don't understand Ama it. To say amen to it. Niseme tu amina kwa. Because when I do that. Kwa sababu ninachofanya hivyo. Something pushes out. Jambo linaskuma kutoka nje. Maybe the things that 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 have a lot of amnesia. Na mambo ambayo yanayo kusahau sahau. All the clouds are taken away. Mungu yote anaondolewa. And as I go home, na ninapoenda nyumbani, I'll be seeing things in a clear way. Nitakuwa naona mambo dhahiri dhahiri. I will be understanding myself better. Nitakuwa najielewa vema zaidi. Hallelujah. Amen. And so now, ivo basi. Uh, 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 146. 
It's very important ni muhimu that we find closure ya ku, on the things that happened to us. Ya kuwa tuelewe yale mambo ambayo yalitukia kwetu. Because kwa sababu human beings in 144 wanadamu start, 144 uh, uh, is that uh, human behavior is influenced by an happening in life. Tabia za wanadamu inaathiriwa na kituko fulani katika maisha or a family trait ama sifa fulani ya familia amen and ah. we saw in 159 atuliona that uh, 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 159 uh, uh, we saw that uh, jonathan tuliona kwa jonathan give an example of jonathan tulitoa mfano wa jonathan who was so son ambaye alikuwa mwana wa sauli we saw here the son tuliona alikuwa na mwana who was lame ambaye alikuwa kiwete of his feet miguni pake please go with me because i want Tote to bring out something today maana nataka kuonyesha jambo fulani leo and kisha the son of jonathan huyu mwana wa jonathan was born right alizaliwa vema but lakini the bible tells us biblia inatuambia as he grew up alipoendelea kuwa something happened to him jambo fulani lilitukia li kwake he was five years old when the tidings came and of saw alikuwa miaka mitano pale ambapo eh, dhoruba ilikuja kwa Saulo and Jonathan, uh, uh, that, that is and Jonathan out of Jezreel na Jonathan kutoka pale Jezreel and his nurse took him up and nae, fled naye mguzi muuguzi wake alimchukua na kangu and it came to pass naye ikakoja kutukia and she meant as to flee alipoenda kutoka pale he fell alianguka akanguka and became lame naye akapata uh, uh, akakuwa kiwete mguu and his name was Mephibosheth Nae jina lake lilikuwa Mephibosheth. Now we saw Sasa tuliona. Because we read another scripture. Kwa sababu tulikuwa na andiko nyingine. Whereby ambapo Mephibosheth's lameness. We, wete wa Mephibosheth finally atimaye. Because he was he was put aside. Kwa sababu alitengwa. People who were lame. Watu ambao ni viwete. People who had leprosy. Watu ambao wana ukoma. People who had diseases that could attract stigma. Watu ambao wana magonjwa ambayo yangeleta kinyongo. They were put aside. Waliwekwa kando. When this happened to Mephibosheth, he lipotukia Mephibosheth. He was put aside. Aliwekwa kando. And he even reached at a certain place and he reject, started rejecting himself. Na ikafikia wakati ambao alijikataa yeye mwenyewe. He actually succumbed to the stigma. Ali ali ali, ali aliathirika na na kule kutengwa. Until finally, hadi mshowe, he referred and labeled himself as a dog alijirejelea kama mbo yeye mwenyewe he referred and labeled himself as a dog alijiita umbo yeye mwenyewe and so we realized sasa tulitambua the things that happen to us mambo yanayotukia kwetu sisi as god's children kama wana wa mungu as much as we are still a people hata kama sisi ni watu at a certain time in life wakati fulani katika maisha they will manifest in our lives yatatokea katika maisha yetu the way i grew up jinsi nilivyokuwa the environment that i grew in mazingira ambayo nilikuwa the way i was handled by my parents niliposhughulikiwa nilivyoshughulikiwa na wazazi wangu the way things happened into my own life jinsi mambo yalitukia katika maisha yangu at a certain time katika wakati fulani it will be manifested in me itadhirika ndani yangu in a certain way katika njia fulani and the prophet told us naye nabii akatuambia if i am not careful kama sitakuwa mwangalifu what happened to me kilichotukia kwangu don't find closure kama sitakubali ilitukia it finally manifests into a complex baadaye itakuwa kinyongo and that's why i want to pick it from today na hapo ndipo nataka kuanza siku leo amen amen complexes vinyongo in life katika maisha The prophet told us Nabii alitwambia <coughs> Number 2 he says a complex works around the nature of a person Kinyongo ina inamzunguka mtu fulani katika asili yake Amen Amen Unconsciously bila kujua and causes the nature to be impulse beyond normality Na inafanya utu uende zaidi ya mambo ya kawaida amen mm. and you know nayo tunajua uh, uh, without knowing that is slide 4 you find Unapati. the human nature asili ya mtu ya binadamu is already coiled by a complex tayari imetengenezwa na kinyongo which is something that happened to you ambo, or ambo ni, happened to your parents jambo ambalo lilitukia kwako ama wazazi wako and you are already carrying it na tayari ina, yako 
and at a certain time it is manifested in you na katika wakati fulani inadhirika na yako you never understand what uh, why you why you carry yourself the way you do nawe huelewi kwa nini unajitendekeza jinsi even yako. some other believers don't understand you well nao hata waumini wengine hawakuelewi you remember we talked about brother ben brian unakumbuka tulizungumzia huyo ndugu understood hange eleweka it was only brother brana ni ndugu brana mpeke who understood the condition of ben brian ambaye alielewa hali ya ben brian and we say na tulisema in the church katika kanisa we have a lot of ben brian tunao ben brian wengi and we need to accommodate them na tuna tunafaa we kwa we need to know tunafaa kwa na tunafaa kuelewa we don't need to judge them hatufai kwa hukumu once you understand this ukishaelewa hii you will never have a problem hautakuwa na shida na mtu mwingine yote not even a fellow believer ha, si hata muumini you will never even have a problem hautakuwa na shida with your fellow human being na watu wengine wa kawaida hallelujah amen now sasa it calls this this man called human being ina inazunguka huyu mtu ambaye anaitwa binadamu because kwa sababu he goes through a, 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 a certain periods of complexes anapitia hali fulani fulani za vinyongo give me slide uh, that is uh, maybe we need to define Wenda what is a complex that is 261 vinyongo ni nini give me 261 <coughs> let us define this complex tueleze kinyongo ni nini 262 because i don't have the notes here a complex can be defined as unconscious pattern of emotions kinyongo inaelezwa kama mtindo fulani wa wa hali you know a complex kinyongo is a way is a certain way of behavior mtindo fulani wa tabia which even you yourself you are not aware wewe mwenyewe hauielewi We unakwaza watu na haujui you hurt people but you don't know unless you are told by somebody ila uambiwe na mtu mwingine Are we together? Amen. Please go with me Tende so that pamoja. we can understand. Ili, ili tuelewe. A complex can be defined Kinyongo. as unconscious pattern. Inaweza elezwa kama uh, mtindo wa watabia emotions wa, wa asili and desires wa, wa hali na na matakwa yetu that are are the core of who we are ambacho ni kiini cha utu wetu and they exist even through uh, uh, even though we are unaware Na of zi- why they exist ziko hata kama hatuelewi kwa nini zipo you know this thing unajua mambo haya makes me as a husband inanifanya kama mume makes me as a wife inanifanya kama mke understand nielewe why i married my wife kwa nini nioa mke wangu why you were married by why why you were married by your husband kwa nini uliolewa na mume wako and as the years go by nayo miaka inapoendelea you begin to your husband begins to ex, uh, 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 to show some things that you have never seen in life mume wako anaanza kuonyesha mambo fulani ambayo hujaijua maisha not that he is failing si kwamba anaanguka anashindwa hapa No but you begin to see some signs Lakini unaanza kuona ishara fulani fulani He begins to act in a certain way Anatendekeza kwa njia fulani You might interpret like he is fallen Unaweza fikiria kuwa ameanguka You might even interpret the sister is fallen Unaweza fikiria kuwa mke pia ameanguka No hapana But Lakini human beings are mouth layered Binadamu wanayo uh, hatua fulani fulani They are they are meant in layers Wametengenezwa katika viwango fulani fulani as we are going to see Tuna, and at a certain time a, fa- a certain phase of the years you bring out a certain layer na katika umri fulani unaonyesha kiwango fulani cha maisha and that is why na, we wana, need the holy ghost tunahitaji roho mtakatifu in our hearts katika roho zetu because the holy ghost so bro, always puts you in check daima anakuangalia anakuweka katika mstari amen so what am i speaking about sana sema nini hapa I must understand as a young boy. Lazima nielewe kama kijana mdogo. As a young girl. Kama msichana mdogo. That when I have I am a uh, courting a young boy or a young girl. Ya kuwa ninapomchumbia kijana mdogo ama mtu mdogo. Tukiwa katika uchumba. It is important uchumba, to know ni lazi, ni that when you accept this, this young man. Ukikubali mtu mdogo. When you accept this young boy. Ukikubali kijana huyu mdogo. This girl, ukikubali msichana huyu you are accepting them with their complex unamkubali na vinyongo vyake vyote tuko pamoja amen 
The baptism in Jesus name does not take away a complex. Ubatizo katika jina la Yesu haiondoi kinyongo. We only receive something called the Holy Ghost. Tunapokea kitu ambayo inaitwa Roho Mtakatifu. And the Holy Ghost keeps in check your sticky nature which Na, is your Roho Mtakatifu ananyoosha ile kinyongo yako ambayo inakwaza. The prophet told us. Nabii alitwambia. That sticky nature huko kukwaza kwako. Asili yako. Which you are born by. Ambao ulizaliwa nayo. You will live with it until death. Utaishi nayo hadi siku takufa. But you have got the Holy Ghost. Lakini kuna Roho Mtakatifu ambaye anakuwe ananyosha mambo haya. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, anasema hivi. So, sasa is unconscious pattern. Ni mtindo ambao hatujui. If you want to know a man, kutaka kujua mtu mwanamume. You 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 mkanyange kidonda. Uh, step on his toes. If you want to know a woman, kutaka kujua mwanamke, kanyange kidonda. Step on so, her toes. The unconscious patterns come out. Mtindo usioonekana waziwazi unatokea. I am able to bring out who I am unconsciously. Naezoonyesha kile ambacho ni mimi ni bila kujua. Because my setting go back to default. Kwa sababu narejelea asili yangu yenyewe. Amen. Amen. When I go back to, to default. Nikirejelea asili yangu, you cannot deny your default. Huwezi kataa asili yako. Amen. Amen. Because that is who you are. Kwa sababu ni wewe. And if nothing happen in my heart. Na kama jambo haikutukia katika roho yangu. I will begin to curse. Nitaanza kulaani. I will begin to to speak things which are not the word. Nazungumza mambo ambayo si neno. And that is why. Na ndio maana. As you are going to see. Tukapoona. Human being. What? The way God meant him. Jinsi Mungu aliomba. Without the Holy Ghost. Bila Roho Mtakatifu. He was the beast. Ni mbaya kuliko mnyama kule nje. Hallelujah. Mm. God bless you sister. Mungu. Mwe. Akubariki dada mwingine. Thank you for coming. Asante kwa kuja. Vivian, you are here. Dada Vivian. Are you here? God bless you so much. Let us appreciate Thank them. You. Amen. God bless Amen. you. Pongeze. And all the visitors among us we really no. appreciate. Let us appreciate Wageni them. Wageni wote miongoni the wetu. No, Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, anasema. So, he says, a complex also kinyongo pia is a blind spot. Ni mahali ambapo hatujui sisi. It is something that unless I am told ni kitu ambacho ila niambiwe even myself hata mimi mwenyewe I cannot understand siezi leo and it is very important ni ni muhimu sana as human beings kwa kama we must always be ready daima lazima tuwe tayari all the time kila wakati be ready to receive feedbacks kupokea marejeo ama kuambiwa kitu fulani mm. There are people who are never ready to receive feedback. Kuna watu ambao hawako tayari kupokea kuambiwa kitu kwa uhusu wenyewe. All the time. Kila wakati. You must be ready. Lazima uwe tayari to be told kuambiwa this is the way your back looks like. Mgongo wako unafanana hivi. Tupa pamoja. Are we together? There is no way you can say mimi najuanga mgongo hata. Hakuna njia you can say. The, I know why, my back. Why do you go to the mirror? Kwa nini unaenda kwa kio? It is because ni kwa sababu there are places of your own self that you don't know. Kuna sehemu zako wewe mwenyewe ambao hujui. So a complex is built about the the blind spot of Sasa, our lives. Sasa kinyongo ina inajengwa ikizungu zingira kile ambacho hatujui katika maisha yetu. Hallelujah. Amen. Is it is also defined as a no, an um, emotional baggage which causes a complex. Pia inaelezewa kama uh, mzigo wa hali fulani ambayo inaleta hiyo kinyongo. Like the things that we went through in life. Kama mambo ambayo tulipitia katika maisha yetu. They are stored in our subconscious. Na ziko katika akili zetu za ndani. It becomes an emotional baggage. Inakuwa uh, mzigo katika akili zetu. That if we are not aware, ambao kama hatuelewa, we transfer to our children, to our wives, to our husbands and consciously. Kwa watoto wetu, wake wetu na, na waume wetu bila kujua. Amen. Amen. There is something a uh, 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 science calls a uh, 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 transference kuna jambo ambayo science inaitwa inaitwa transference trans- is whereby inaitwa you marry you marry a man unaoa jamaa fulani and the man that you marry or you marry a woman naye jamaa ambao unaoa ama unaoa mke and as you move on with life na mnapoendelea na maisha if you were tortured in life by a man kama ulikuwa umeteswa hapo awali na na mwanamume fulani you see the man who married you na, as that man who tortured you unaanza kuona mwanamume huyu kama yule ambaye alikutesa pale awali so you are transferring 
your your emotions sasa unahamisha hisia zako into a man ndani ya mtu who has nothing to do with what happened to you in life ambaye hausiani kwa njia yote na kile ambacho kimeisha it happens in relationships na wakati mwingi inafanyika katika mahusiano we will see why relationships don't work tutaona kwa nini mahusiano haya we will see why many things even marriages don't work hata ndoa haifanyi kazi tutaona but we also see even if it does not work pia tunaona hata kama haifanyi kazi say about the word neno anafanya anasema nini kuhusu neno amen mungu anasema nini mm. hallelujah mm. you love the lord jesus amen so therefore ivo basi Uh, that is why no mana give me slide uh, that is slide 20 we just begin somewhere there tuanze mahali listen to this skiza hii brother brana ndugu brana i want you to listen where a complex nataka umskize pale ambapo kinyongo would be built from inaweza in chipuka kutoka thank you mm. thank you my brother Brother Branham, ndugu Branham, I am saved and I've been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Nimeokolewa na nimebatizwa katika jina la Bwana Yesu Kristo. How do I get away from a stubborn spirit that can't seem to break away from? Lakini naweza ondoka vipi kutoka kwa roho ambayo inasumbua ambayo inaonekana kuwa siezi ondokea? Well, my Christian brother or sister, Mema, whoever it may be. Ndugu yangu ama dada. Now, most yote. times when you find people that got stubborn spirit. Wakati mwingi ukipata watu ambao wana roho za kusumbua is usually a complex daima inakuwa kinyongo that causes this ambayo inaleta jambo hili either they have inherited it from a mother aidha wameitoa katika familia mama baba from a uncle katika mjomba from a auntie katika shangazi from a grandmother um, from a grandfather uh, nyanya babu or somebody like that ama mtu kama huyo so a complex sasa kinyongo is inheritable inaweza ridhiwa amen mm. Sometimes you can wakati mwingine have children unaweza kuwa na watoto and you begin to wonder na hii tabia na onanga na na huyu msichana na inataka kwa I know many times people ask themselves those those questions wakati mwingine tunajiuliza maswali kama haya Now you don't need to ask. Sasa si lazima ujiulize tena. You need to get to know. Some of these things mambo haya are baggages. Ni mizigo. That date back to 400 years. That Ambayo is 10 generations. Na rudi hadi uh, vizazi kumi huko nyuma. Amen. Mm. That is what we carry. Hizo ndio vitu tunabeba. Complexes. Vinyongo. Things that we even ourselves we don't understand. Mambo ambayo hata sisi wenyewe hatuelewi. But we thank God for the message of Lakini tunashukuru Mungu kwa ujumbe wa wakati. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, anasema hivi. And if you chase back through your life, na ukirejea kule katika maisha yako, you'll find. Utapata. Now I have taken by experience and discernment. Nikikua katika vitukia. Uh, uh, in Nanika, discernment. Uh, amen. Kwa kupambanua. Uh, kwa kupambanua. Because I have made cases on the platform. Nimekuwa na kesi hizo katika mimbara. Thousands of those that had that spirit. Maelfu ya watu ambao walikuwa na roho hii. And the first thing you know, jambo ya kwanza unajua. I chase that spirit right back by discernment. Roho hiyo ukule nyuma kwa kupambanua. And find that there was a grand daddy. Na kupata kwa kulikuwa na babu fulani. There was a grand mother. Ama nyanya fulani. There was somebody else back down there. Ama kulikuwa na mtu fulani ukule nyuma. And you inherit that by name. Na uliridhi hiyo kwa asili. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are vulnerable. Sasa sisi tunaweza athirika. Because kwa sababu we are born by the corruptible seed. Tumezaliwa na ile mbegu ambayo inaharibika. Then we are vulnerable. Basi tunaweza athirika. So by nature kwa, kwa asili we are we, we all are able to get a complex. Sisi sote tunaweza kupata kinyongo. Amen. Amen. Whereby we can We can bring out our emotions. Kwa sababu tunaweza dhihirisha hisia zetu without balance bila ku, ku, kuzingatia chochote. Hallelujah. Mm. And so therefore, Ivo it basi. is so sensitive so much so. Ni, ni jambo ambayo inatuhusisha. It is so sensitive. Ni jambo ambayo inatuhusisha. Tunahitaji kuliangalia sana. So that we should check in it. Because our relationships kwa sababu mahusiano yetu are affected by complexes which never come out during dating na vinyongo ambavyo havitokei wakati wa kuchumbiana there are so much heat brother david zipo zinafichwa sana zinafichwa they, they are heat but after marriage lakini baada ya ndoa they come out zinatokea zinachipuka you know unajua it is so sense that even a pastor ni 
hadi mchungaji even a minister hata muduma if he does not have something to check his spirit kama hata kuna jambo ambalo itaangalia roho yake it is very easy to preach from a position of a complex ni rahisi sana kubiri kutoka kwa mtazamo wa kinyongo i said that and i want to say it again ni sema hiyo na nitasema it is very easy to preach ni rahisi sana a position of a family complex kubiri kutokana na mtazamo wa kinyongo ya familia that ambayo I was beaten so much by my own mother for example. Kwa nilipigwa sana na mamangu kwa mfano. Oh my own father. Ama babangu used to beat me and so I hated him. Alikuwa ananipiga sana so kwa sababu sana nilimchukia. Kama mimi minister. Na kama mimi ni mudumu. If I am not careful. Kama sitazingatia. I will preach in a way that I become biased. Nitaubiri kwa njia ambayo sitazingatia jambo hili. I will become biased to men. Sitazingatia wanaume. Nitaanza kufinya wanaume bila kujua ile inaitwa kuwafinya. Kwa sababu because ninapoona brother saba ninaona baba yangu mwenye alikuwa ananipiga bila sababu. When I see men I and I see people who uh, my father who beat me without any cause. And so ifo bas wa ndugu wanaanza kushindwa ndugu kuna wakati akiongea anatufinya ndugu kuna wakati akiongea anatufinya kwani ni nini ukiketi na msioki mtaelewa ya kwamba if you sit with msioki you will understand that msioki has a baggage msioki anayo mzigo fulani lakini hajawahi elewa but he has never understood kwamba anajipata ameitoa he brings it out consciously to the people kujua kwa watu god give me the holy ghost mungu nipe roho mtakatifu Hallelujah. Amen. The same to sisters. Ivo ivo kwa wadada. A sister is a is a woman. Dada ni mwanamke. Whatever happened to you in life? Kile ambacho kilimtukia kwa maisha. It's very easy to rule your family in a position of a kuendekeza familia yako kwa mtazamo wa kinyongo. So God help you. Sasa so Mungu akusaidie. And God help me. Na Mungu anisaidie. I have listened to people in many instances. Kwa hali nyingi. And you can You can tell. Na unaweza unaweza ona that this is a complex. Ya kuwa hii ni kinyongo. As much as also msioki as a complex. Hata kama msioki anayo kinyongo chake. Najua kuna kuna msemo tunasema everybody is, says everybody is mad. You have never come across that one. Everybody is mad. Kila mtu usikia hiyo. Kila mtu everybody ni kichaa. Everybody is mad. It's only the degree of madness. Kila mtu ni kichaa. Kiwango cha kichaa tu ndio inatofautiana. Ina, ina so, hata kama msioki pia ako na kau madness kake. Msioki has his na own. Na wewe pia uko na kau madness kako. The madness. Lakini but we have the word of God. Tunao neno la Mungu. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, unajua 25 Let me just go slowly and also fast. Niende taratibu. 25. 25. Ah uh, You know you are you are you are you are body mwili wako is like uh, ama imekwama kidogo. Imekwama? Oh you are there. Oh sorry. Oh it is because this one is not showing. Sorry. So uh, uh, your body is Sasa. like is like a computer. Mwili wako ni kama computer. You know? Unajua? The computer like the one that we have there the, 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 these are laptops. Mm, Tarakilishi kama hizi ambazo tunazo hapa. It is made up of different things which you can see. na viungo tofauti tofauti ambao unazo. You have the hands. Na mkono. Which we have the RAM. Tuna, we have the RAM. You, 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 you also work with the computer with a with, with a printer. Computer na you printer. You have the monitor. Nao, yo, you have the kionyeshi. keyboard. Nao, keyboard pale. And so uh, 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 those things are Mambo there ha, in a computer. Hivi, viko katika computer. And so Ivo basi. the computer is what makes you. Computer inakumba wewe. But now lakini I want you to listen to this. Tamsikize hii. 24 A computer hardware 
includes the physical parts of a computer. Viungo vya computer inaashiria ile mambo ya kawaida ya computer. Such as the same, that is CPU, kama CPU, the RAM, ile RAM, the motherboard, motherboard, the graphic cards, graphic cards, the sound cards, ile sound card, computer case, ile computer, a monitor, case ya computer, a keyboard, monitor, and the speakers. Keyboard, na ile speaker. But now, lakini sasa, when you buy a computer and you bring it in your house, ukinunua computer na uilete nyumbani, now take that computer as you. Hiyo computer ichukue kama ni wewe. You are born umezaliwa just like that. Hivyo hivyo. But lakini you cannot operate that computer. Hauwezi fanyisha kazi hiyo computer. There are things that you need in order to operate it. Kuna mambo ambayo unahitaji ili ifanye kazi. And you call it 27 softwares. Nao inaitwa software. Now softwares sasa hii software are things according to 26. Ni mambo, software is a set of instructions. Ni maelezo fulani. Data data program used to operate computers ambayo imewekwa kwa njia fulani ya kutendekesha kazi hiyo computer amen mm. and, and and they are in, they are installed in there nayo zinawekwa pale ndani so that now ilikuwa you can work with your computer unaweza fanyisha kazi hiyo computer software in a person sa software ndani ya mtu are the things that we acquire in life ni mambo ambayo tunapokea katika maisha either through culture aidha kupitia kwa tamaduni either through customs hata kwa kwa mila either through the things that we read kupitia mambo ambayo tunasoma the things that we hear mambo tunayosikia they are stored in our subconscious zinaweko katika akili zetu za ndani so it is already data hivyo basi tayari ni data hiyo which is not analyzed but it is stored in our subconscious ambayo haijashughulikiwa lakini iko katika akili zetu za ndani how to gather friends mm. Uyu mtoto mdogo unamwona uko naye. This young child that you see that you have. The GBs in a, in our mind are so big. It's actually more than a terabyte. Zile vitu ziko katika akili zake ni nyingi sana. Huyo mtu anaweza beba vitu that na akiwa miaka 50. And when it's 50 years. She will still remember what happened when she was 6 years. Kile ambayo ilitukia akiwa miaka 6. And she can remember very well. Naye anaweza kumbuka vizuri kabisa. Even you yourself. Hata wewe mwenyewe. You can remember something that your father did to Uneza you. Unaweza kumbuka kitu ambacho baba alitendea. Five years. Pale mkuu miaka 5. It is never lost. Haitoki. The data that the mind carries is Zile never lost. Data ambayo iko katika akili zako haipotei. Hakuna kirusi inaweza ondoa hiyo. There's no virus that can take that out. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you my brother. Asante mm. ndugu yangu. Am I saying something? Nasema jambo fulani. But now, lakini sasa, what I acquired, ninayopokea katika maisha. What I acquired in life, kile ambayo napata katika maisha, what has built me in my environment. Kile ambacho kimenijenga katika uh, mazingira yangu. For example, kwa mfano, you are told, unaambiwa, a woman, mwanamke, if you are a man, kama wewe ni mwanamume, never allow Usiai kubali. A woman to ever tell you anything. Mwanamke kukuambia chochote. We usibali. are hearing all this in the social media. Unasikiza mambo haya yote katika mtandao wa kijamii. It is told in your subconsciousness as Inaekwa data which is not analyzed. kama data ambayo haziashughulikiwa bado. Thank you. Amen. But lakini there is something kuna jambo fulani that you cannot operate a computer without if you want to maintain that kazi, data. Uh, Tarakilishi bila hiyo. Kama unataka kuweka hiyo data there is something called 28. Kuna jambo inaitwa 28 is called a, 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 an antivirus. Inaitwa antivirus. Now for, for your machine to protect the information which is there. Kulinda ile data ambayo iko pale ndani. And also to make sure that nothing kisha, else comes which is infected. Kwa jambo fulani isikuje ambayo imeathirika. Then you need an antivirus. Basi unahitaji antivirus. An antivirus is the Holy Ghost. Na hiyo antivirus ni Roho Mtakatifu. It will take care of any information. Itashughulikia data yoyote that you will insert in the computer ambayo utaingiza katika ile computer when you try to put a flash disk ukijaribu kuweka flash disk pale it is infected na iko na virusi a fast will tell you there is a there is an antivirus called kaspersky antivirus kuna antivirus inaitwa kaspersky it will tell you no kwambia you need to scan this lazima uchunguze hii oh if i am a true believer so kama mimi ni mwamini wa kweli the information coming to my heart must be scanned katika roho yangu lazima hallelujah by the holy ghost kwa roho mtakatifu i need an antivirus nahitaji antivirus 
Hallelujah. Amen. Because if I don't, kwa sababu nisipofanya hivyo, I will get information. Nitapata information mambo, mambo, that is going to eat the other programs in me. Ambayo yatakula zile programs zingine ndani yangu. Hallelujah. Amen. You see me stop coming to church? Unaona nakoma kuja kanisani? You see me stop reading the message? Unaona nakoma kusoma ujumbe? Let me tell you friends. Niambie marafiki. We are infected. Tumeathirika. We need to run and an antivirus. Tunafaa kuweka antivirus hapa. And that is why we come to church. The word of God, which is the Holy Ghost, always runs in our hearts. Daima ako katika roho zetu. To take care of the word in us. Kushughulikia sisi. To take care of the word in us. Kushughulikia neno ndani yako yetu. And also to take care of anything that is coming in. Kushughulikia jambo lolote ambalo zinakuja ndani. An antivirus. Antivirus. Never forget. Usiwahi sahau. I need an antivirus. Nahitaji antivirus. As a married man, kama mtu aliye katika ndoa, married woman, ama mwanamke katika ndoa. Sometimes, wakati mwingine, you look at when we believed this message. Tulipoamini ujumbe huu. Umewahi patana na computer ambayo? Have you got a computer? They are usually in town. Zinakuwa kule mjini. Hata unaweza kuwa nayo nyumbani. You can even have it at home. Ambayo that unasikia mtu anakuuliza uh, na hii wanga unacheka antivirus anakuambia hiyo hiyo ainanga shida yeah, that one does not have any problem hata unaweza weka ikiwa na kirusi you can even put it kwa sababu hata hiyo ndani yake haina because inside it, it does not have it does not have an antivirus haina antivirus pale ndani so Sasa. it has never been updated haijai uh, uh, fanywa ya kisasa The antivirus has never been updated. Ile antivirus haijawekewa ya So it receives it receives anything. Inapokea jambo lolote tu. I have seen some brothers like that. Nimeona wandugu fulani fulani kama hao. I have seen some sisters like that. Nimeona wadada fulani kama hao. And God of mercy upon even myself. Mungu hawe na neema kwako na nami pia. That there are people who Kuna don't care. Kuna watu ambao hawajali. What they receive? Kile ambao wanapokea. They never want to know when they will update their antivirus. Wataki kujua wataweka antivirus ya kisasa lini. They will stay in a state. Watasalia katika hali. They are not sure whether they are Christians Amba, or not. Hawana uhakika kama wao ni wakristo au machoki. Let me tell you friends. Niombie mara. We have an heaven to go. Tunao bingu ya kweli. And we have a hell to run away from. Tunayo jahanamu ya kukimbia. He says anasema in 29 A human being is far more complex Binadamu ni uh, ana vitu vingi to live independent from the leadership of the Holy Ghost Kuishi bila uongozi wa Roho Mtakatifu He can be more complex Anaweza kuwa if he does not live under the leadership of the Holy Ghost Kaidi kama hata ishi katika uongozi wa Roho Mtakatifu Amen. Amen. He can be the worst man. Anaweza kuwa mtu mbaya zaidi. Mbaya zaidi. He can be the worst husband. Anaweza kuwa mme mbaya zaidi. But if he has the Holy Ghost. Lakini kama anayo Roho Mtakatifu. He can be the best wife. Anaweza kuwa He can be the best husband. Ke bora mme bora kabisa. I need the Holy Ghost. Nahitaji Roho Mtakatifu. A human being. Binadamu can be more of a complex. Anaweza kuwa na kinyongo zaidi. Na wakushangaza hata wakutojielewa. To live independently kuishi akiwa hivyo from the leadership of the holy ghost bila uongozi wa roho mtakatifu now listen what he says Askiza, na... listen Askiza. today we need divine healing worse than ever needed before siku ya leo tunahitaji upojaji kuliko wakati wakati mwingine wote he says anasema as the days go on and on and on siku zinapoendelea na kuendelea so will it be more and more needed basi tunahitaji kuhitajika zaidi na zaidi roho mtakatifu Rom takatifu. And it will come to pass. Na itakuja to come to pass. Na itakuja kutukia. Well, uh, uh, after a while that no. unless a man is sealed with the Holy Ghost. Baada ya muda kuwa ila binadamu atiwe mhuri na Roho Mtakatifu. Unless a man is sealed with the Holy Ghost. Ila binadamu atiwe mhuri na Roho Mtakatifu. In his heart. Katika roho yake. Until he is laid himself open to all kinds of things. Hadi ajiweke wazi kwa kila jambo. Unless he is filled with the Holy Ghost. Unless he is sealed in his heart. Ila atiwe mhuri katika roho. He is vulnerable to all kinds of demons. Basi anaathirika na mapepo yote. That happens immediately. Hiyo inatukia mara. Not even when you are born, even when you are not born. Hata kama hujazaliwa. In the natural, katika hali ya kawaida, 
You see, Unaona. mothers going to the clinics. Wama, wama it is not because they are sick. No. Si kwa ni but it is hapa. because of the unborn child. Kwa yule, yule this child who is not born. Mtoto you need to boost our immunity. Lazima ufanye immunity yake yende juu. And for you to boost our immunity, you get juu. injections or vaccinations which are not yours. Chanjo. Ambazo sio zako. Mm, that are not yours. They are for the unborn child. Ni kwa yule mtoto ambaye hajazaliwa. And when the baby is born, na mtoto yule anapozaliwa, according to science. Kulingana na science with the immunity of the mother. The immunity of the mother. Anazaliwa na hali ya kinga ya mamake. Thank you. Mm. Immunity of the mother. Mtoto anazaliwa na mtoto anazaliwa na kinga ya mamake. When she is born you must take her for vaccination in some weeks. As she continues on so that finally our body is injected some some things are put in the body to stimulate our own immunity. Kuchangamsha kinga yake yeye mwenyewe. Tuko pamoja. So that the baby can eradicate the mother's immunity and build her own immunity that is why it is important to take your baby to the clinic hallelujah something is done for the first time and from there on anybody who will ever stand before before it we appearing to be yule mtu mwenye alimdunga is an enemy amen children know how to mark doctors watoto wanajua kujua madaktari ukiingia hospitali unasikia anaanza kulia Dadi tutoke nje kwa kwa nini that man alinidunga kitu huo mtu alini injected me it is stored somewhere inayekuwa mahali fulani hallelujah amen the prophet says nabii anasema you must have an antivirus called the holy ghost lazima ukuwe na antivirus inaitwa rome because if you don't you are vulnerable to very many things unaathirika na mambo mengi complexes vinyongo 32 he says that is what causes separation in families hiyo ndio inaleta utengano katika familia That is what causes it of love. That is what causes separation in churches. Neglect of love. We have got to have love. Lazima tuwe na upendo. Hallelujah. Amen. Because if I am undergoing a complex, kama ninao kinyongo Then it will eat up into my love. Basi itaingia katika upendo wangu na ikuikula. It will eat up into my compassion. Itakula upendo wangu. It will eat up into my love for the message. Itakula upendo wangu kwa neno. Hallelujah. Amen. And so therefore, hivyo basi, it is important. Ni muhimu to lay all things before the Lord. Weka mambo yote mbele ya Bwana. Hallelujah. Amen. Now the prophet told us uh, 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 we, are, we have different types of complexes. Amen. Mm. I don't know if I have that uh, 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 they they suppose I had shown some different types of complexes. Amen. You got it? Because I don't have the notes I just had it this morning. Uh, it must be at the end towards the end. Hallelujah. You love the Lord Jesus. Amen. Types of complexes. Where, where we are defining complex, you go down there, you'll find the types of complexes. Amen. The prophet said that uh, 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 like I have said, a complex wraps around a person. Kinyongo inamzunguka mtu fulani. Amen. Uh, 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 types of complexes. Okay. All right. Give me one that nine. Give me one that nine. Give me one that nine. Uh, uh, we th thank you. There it is. There it is. Types of complexes. Aina ya vinyongo. There's a complex called inferior complex. What the prophet has talked about. Inaitwa kinyongo. Just a little bit faster. He says there is inferior complex. Kuna hii inaitwa inferiority complex. Inferior complex. 
There is another one called guilty complex. Thank you. Kinyongo ya kujishuku. Kuna watu ambao there are people who have this guilty complex all the time. Watu ambao kinyongo hii ya kujishuku wanayo kila wakati. When you see people there ukiona watu pale talking and they look at you. Wanaongea na wanakuangalia. You imagine they are talking about you. Anaanza kufikiria kuwa wanakuzungumzia wewe. That is already a complex. Hiyo ni kinyongo tayari. If a brother takes sometimes and he does not call you. Ndugu akichukua muda na asikupigie. You think he hates you. Unafikiria kuwa anakuchukia. Guilty complex. Kinyongo cha kujishuka. Even you yourself. Hata wewe mwenyewe. You are always saying sorry when a person unasema, calls you. Oh, uh, brother. Uh, unasema, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Pole pole ndugu. Pole. Guilty. Unajishuka all the time. Kila wakati. And you know where this happened? Najua hili tukiwa wapi? Maybe your father used a stick more on you on Wenda every little mistake that you did. Chapa zaidi kwa kosa lolote ambalo ulifanya. So you became guilty for Sasa, all things. Sasa ukakuwa unajishuku tu kwa mambo yote. Even when you are doing the right thing you still think think jambo, you are guilty. Unafikiria kuwa unajishuku una, una tu. Hata ukikatakata kitunguu. Even when you cut onion. Unaona ni kama haujakatakata ile ya kawaida. Tabu unajishuku right on everything. Mm. You are guilty on everything. Chakula imeiva lakini lazima upelekee mtu mwingine aonje ndio ahakikishe kwamba yani ulimeule ule tu but is that tongue the same tongue guilty complex kinyongo cha kujishuku we shall see them as we move on another a certain time superior complex kinyongo cha kujiona wewe ni put everybody down pale ambao unaweka mtu chini wewe uko kule juu and the rest of the people are down wale wengine wako chini superiority hali ya kujiinua juu You never feel that you are wrong at any time. Wewe ni kuwa una makosa wakati wote. And that is why I said it is very important to be able to receive feedback. Ni muhimu kupokea jambo ya kuambiwa wewe. Whether you are a pastor, whether you are a deacon, whether you are a pastor, whether you are a church member. Kama wewe ni mshirika wa kanisa. All the time be willing to receive feedback. Kila wakati kuwa tayari kupokea jambo kuambiwa kuhusu wewe. Na uipokee vizuri. Kwa njia ambayo Aina mauchungu receive it positively. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Mataya complex. Kufia imani. Kinyongo cha kufia imani. Amen. Mm. There is no way you'll ever feel Hakuna you are hii. the only person Au. who makes things happen. Utahai kuhisi kuwa wewe ndio unafanya mambo yatuki. Amjui ya kwamba mm. ni mimi ndio nimefanya hii. No. That I'm, I'm the one who has done this. It is the spirit of God which got into you to do what you are doing. Kufanya kile ambacho tunafanya. Even the martyrs themselves. Hata wale ambao walifia imani. Who died for the faith. Ambao walifia imani. It was not them. Haikuwa wao. It was a spirit in them. roho ndani yao. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a God complex. Inaitwa kinyongo. Kuna kinyongo cha Mungu. God complex. Kinyongo kwa Mungu. Whereby you feel your words are final isi kuwa mambo yako ni ya mwisho kabisa your words are final maneno yako maneno yako ni ya mwisho thank you mm. your words are final maneno yako your words are like god's words maneno yako ni kama maneno ya mungu tu nafikiri you have ever heard this ever, that ushaisikia hivi ndugu akiongea uweso kamrudisha nyuma you can't take him back kama ndugu ameongea and the brother talks awezi ngoka hapo does not get out huyo ni roho wa ibilisi that is the spirit of the devil And it's good to bring things out very well. Ni vema kuleta mambo dhahiri dhahiri. Huyo ni roho wa shetani. That is the spirit of the devil. And he is a spirit that roho. needs an antivirus. Ambayo inahitaji antivirus. Mm. Oh, if a brother is told something, ndugu anapoambia kitu, ni kama vile unaonanga nyumbani, ukikosana na mama, unakataa chakula yake. When you get angry at mom, you, you refuse the food. Yeah? hata hata akipika unakaa hapo sitting au unataka sit kukula in the, in the sitting room you don't want to eat unaiacha hapo you leave it there uh, unatoka unaenda kukula maandazi mm. you go and kwa, eat maandazi kwa zile zinaitwa vibandaski mm. in vibandaski vibandaski yeah. hapo mm. hako ni karoho that is a spirit hako ni karoho that na hata we dada mkikosana unaamua maombi nimeharibu kila kitu atuombi tena mm. we are not praying again here You know these are spirits. 
Hizi ni roho. And it can never be the, the Holy Ghost. Na haiwezi kwa Roho Mtakatifu. Because it is not. Kwa sababu si Roho Mtakatifu. Hallelujah. Amen. Na ni lazima niwe ninajiambia na kwa kweli leo nimekaliwa. Umewahi jiambia leo nimekaliwa? Na si Roho Roho Mtakatifu. Shetani nilianza na yeye asubuhi. In the morning. Amen. Amen. Because Kwa Satan sababu, will make sure you will not pray, you will not do what, you will not have good atmosphere at home. Children are going to be affected. This and this. Hallelujah. Amen. But Lakini, there is another complex. Savior complex. Kinyongo, uh, you are the only person who can we, help. No, we only have one savior. No, that savior is the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me just go, go through them. We will. Then there is the hero complex. hero complex. The hero complex is whereby even when you do things, God help you not to have this complex. Because true leaders always lead from behind. They don't show themselves in front. They are always from behind. Because they don't want to get the heroes complex. If you don't have this person, we can do it. That is a complex. Hallelujah. God helping me Mungu and God helping you Mungu we must get something Lazima that is mbani. going to help me and you. Now now this is wewe. what he says in 33. Ah, something happened way back in the time of her parents. Jambo pale nyuma wa wake. That caused something to this lady who was at the prayer line. Ili leta kilu kwa huu msichana. He says in 34, the lady moved back. She said, Brother Branham, just a word with you. Listen to this. This fine looking young woman, I see that her heart was burdened. And she was trying to work to make a living. And a great thing happened back. Jambo kubwa. A great thing happened back. Jambo fulani kuu ikatukia pale. Way back in the time of our parents. Kule nyuma wakati wa wazazi wake. That has caused this great thing to happen to her. Ambayo imefanya jambo hili kuu kufanyika kwake. And the Lord Jesus has revealed it and showed it what it was. Bwana Yesu akafunua na kuniambia nini? I thank God that we have the word. We don't have the prophet here. But we have the prophet here. We have the word that anything that may have happened in the days of my parents the word of God is sharper than two hands swords. It is undiscerning. Even when you are seated there it is discerning your spirit your body and your soul. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. It is able to bring out things that happened to you and if you allow the Holy Spirit to operate in your heart then you will bring it into a closure. You will bring it into a closure. Amen. Hallelujah. And there in a moment of time took it from the woman she went around and now sitting here in the audience with us now rejoicing with tears as she is wiping her eyes now knowing the truth of the thing was made known when we come to church we must be willing the truth of our hearts we must allow the Holy Spirit to make them known. Don't hide. Bring yourself in the hands of the Lord. That's seven he says. A domestic trouble the children will always have tension. Watoto daima watakuwa na msukumo fulani. Children will be building a complex because of tension in the house. Kwa sababu ya shinikizo katika nyumba. Kila wakati. Wait. Every time. You. 
Hanunaambia watoto mpaka wanashtuka. Until they get scared. Even the way you call. Mm. Even you call like you, know, you are supposed to be in a, in, in a what? In a, in a army training. Mm. Unafaa kuwa katika kambi ya jeshi. Maana wanasema wa wa. Then unaita watoto mpaka mpaka watakuja wakiwa wanashtuka. Mm. Until mm. The, the children daddy, are scared. Daddy ni nini? Ni nini? They come scared. What is it daddy? And that makes you happy. Na hiyo inakufanya uwe na furaha. As a dad, kama baba, as a mom, kama mama, you don't know haujui. what you are causing to your daughter, what you are causing to your ya, son. Mtoto wako one day, kika wa kiumo, siku moja, that son is going to grow older. Huyo kijana atakuwa na umri. He will get a complex. Atapata kinyongo which you will transfer it to the wife ambao atapelekea bibi yake you will okay. transfer it to the to the husband atapelekea and to the children hata kwa hata kwa watoto amen amen you remember kumbuka i know this one you know najua hii one day brother brana was in his study room siku moja ndugu brana alikuwa katika chumba chake cha kuso he was studying alikuwa anapiti ana and was was studying alipokuwa anasoma <laughs> You know Billy came is it Billy B- Billy the, the 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 I think their son came to interfere mwanao alikuja kutalifiana pale with the prophet na nabi You know what ajaye kilichotukia Billy beat that nani so bad Billy akampiga alimtapa kofi vibaya sana Hita very strong Brandon woke up from his study desk Brandon stood from the and he desk. came to his son and he told him na never do that to your son again Usiwahi fanyia mtoto wako hivyo tena because kwa sababu sio yeye umempiga it's not him that you're beating umepiga yule malaika ambaye anamlinda na umekasirisha malaika and you have angered that end how many have read the prophet angapi umesoma nabi it is there wakati unachapa watoto kwa umekasirika when you're hitting the child when you're angry you have not hit malaika yule ambaye anatembea na wao that works with them that you have hit So how many times have we beaten the angels? Ambao tumepiga malaika. Na hao malaika ni miili yao. Are their bodies? Hata wewe huko na mwili. Even you you have a body. Wanendo unakasirisha malaika wako. You are angering your, your, your angel. Kamwambia, but alikuwa anakusumbua. No. But you cannot disturbing. punish. Oh, you can't punish. Some of us were punished by our Wengine parents. Wetu, in a way tuliadhibiwa na wazazi wetu baba leo um, uliamua uniue mm. you decided to kill me today umewahi pigwa yeah. na your own father yeah. mpaka unamwangalia unaanza kushindwa are you really my father you look at him and wonder if he is your real father huyu ni baba yangu ama si baba yangu ama ni mama yangu ama si baba yangu ukiambiwa enda uleta fimbo nje told to go and bring a stick from us you bring very small brito unaleta nini miti kidogo sana you bring very small sticks he goes out anaenda nje anakata mti ambao unatosha he cuts a very big log na unaona anapangawa unaona mtu anapiga watoto mpaka anapangawa yana anakaa kuna roho amekuja anaitwa kupigana it's called beating na kwambia unapigwa by the time your father is through with you babako akisema na wewe ta anatoa jasho na ameongea chochote kile hiyo miguu sijui inakaa kama ya babu yako sijui hii meno sijawahi ona meno na hata sijui ulitoa hata sijui huyu mtu alitoka wapi sikitano meitana majina yote of called all names haleluya is when your spirit sets into default yako inaporudi katika hali ya asili Then you are able to bring out who you are. Let me tell you friends. I thank the word of God. Nashukuru sana kwa neno la Mungu. I thank the word. Because as I preach to you, I'm also preaching to myself. Nako wazungumzia nami najizungumzia. Amen. I remember one day we were in school. Nakumbuka siku moja nilikuwa shuleni. And I was beaten by a lady. Nikapigwa na msichana fulani. There was a lady who used to beat men. Kwa na msichana alikuwa anapiga wanaume. In school when I was in class 6. Kule shuleni nilipokuwa katika darasa la 6. And that when I came to standard 7. Nilipokuja darasa la 7. I don't know what I did to that lady. Sijui nilifanyia huyo msichana nini. She beat me. Alinipiga mpaka nguo zingine zikaanguka. Wewe usifikirie ni mwasil. Lakini kuna nguo silianguka. Nilikuwa vizuri sana. And because she was a very tall lady. And she was she was big. So alinichapa vibaya sana. Really she really beat me up. Then mimi asira yangu ni ile inaitwa post pay. Yaani asira yangu ni ile unaenda unafika nyumbani. 
get home. Unaanza kufikiria so unaanza kukasirika. About it and start getting angry now. That time. Wakati huo. Then mimi nikaachana na yeye. I, I left her alone. I want, I'm trying to show you something. Najaribu kuonyesha jambo fulani. Oh, msioki alipigwa. No. Oh, sijui nini. Was beaten, oh, ah, and msioki. That. msioki. Then one day, kisha siku moja, tukiwa darasani. We were we in, were in class. class and everybody yeah, was, was quiet. Na kila mtu alikuwa ametulia. And I saw a pass near me. Nikamuona akipita karibu na mimi. Then I started building up tension. Kisha nikapata shinikizo fulani. I got the desk. I got the desk. Nikashika dawati. And I lifted it up. Nikainua juu. And when she was not aware, hakuwa anajua. I banged it on her. Nikaangusha kwake. The whole desk. Wacha hizi tunakaa university. Ile desk mrefu. Ile desk kubwa. Nikachukua yote nikaikamwekelea ubu. I took it and placed it on her. Na nikatokea kwa dirisha. And I went through the window. <laughs> And I went home because I knew I have killed. But when I went home I was already crying because I knew I have done something. And because I used to be a stammerer. That's why I used to talk fast. That's why I talk fast because I used to stammer. Now that stammering could bring a lot of anger. Which when I begin to think about things, it could be very bad. But, I want to tell you something. I don't know what happened. But I think I know. As the years God went by and by, something came into my heart. Hallelujah. Something also came to your heart. Today, the things that I have gone through, the things that you have gone through, hata unaweza choma nyumba you can even burn a house but lakini there is something here kunao jambo hapa ndani hallelujah Amen. there is something here kunao jambo hapa ndani there are times that you even contemplate kuna wakati ambao uh-huh. unawazia kama ujumbe ni huu wacha niachane this is nao. the message <laughs> let me leave it alone kama hivi ndio wa ndugu na wadada wanabebana mimi wacha niache ujumbe i go message. back fishing like peter the message ni rudi kuvua samaki kama peter Hallelujah. Amen. But lakini this message ujumbe huu I was not persuaded to come to it by a person. Siku ilo kwake na mtu fulani. And because na kwa sababu nobody persuaded me to come to this message. Si mtu alinishawishi kuja katika ujumbe huu. Nobody will ever persuade me to leave it. Hakuna mtu atanishawishi kutoka. Because kwa sababu I was found in this message. Nili imarishwa katika ujumbe huu. Hallelujah. Amen. If somebody persuaded you to believe the message, mtu alikushawishi kuamini ujumbe. Somebody will persuade you to leave. Alikushawishi kuondoka. Brother stay with the message. Ndugu salia na ujumbe. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't leave this message for anybody. Uachi ujumbe hii mtu yote. You don't leave it for your mom. You don't leave it for your dad. Uachi baba. You leave this message ni wewe mwenyewe. You you yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. That is what we tell our children in school. Tunaambia watoto wetu shuleni. Wakati when your mother is telling you to go to school. Mamako anapokuambia uende shuleni. And you refuse. Na unakataa. That education is not hers. Hiyo elimu si yake. It is your education. Ni elimu yako wewe. And the moment you realize that. Wakati unatambua hiyo. Nobody will ever chase you to go to school. Kuna mtu atakuelekeza kwenda shuleni. You will be waking up early in the morning. Utakuona muka asubuhi. Go to school. Na unaenda shuleni. You love the Lord Jesus. Penda bwana yetu Yesu Kristo. Complexes. Vinyongo. Amen. Amen. We are with them. Tunazo. The prophet says when i chase it back nikifuatia kule nyuma it is either your granddaddy na either babu yako it is there iko pale and you have it na unayo kuna watu wanaajiriwa kazi there are people who are employed and in one month he is looking uh, for another one mwezi mmoja anatafuta kazi nyingine hawezi kaa na kazi can stay at the job na saa nyingine watu wanaweza sema he na wewe ni mrefu sana unajanga kutafuta you clever you know how to look for jobs Kumbe ni complex. Yeah. So kumbe ni kinyongo hiki. Kinyongo. Mm. Sijui kama kinyongo is the right word. Ha, kinyongo. Kinyongo ni I think it is still the same. Something that is build some impulse in you that Yambu. you bring out as emotions. Ambayo inajengwa ndani yako na inaonekana ina kama hisia. Thank you. Mm. It, it 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 comes out. Inatokea kama hisia. If it is problems in the house? Kama ni shida katika nyumba? 
and your wife tells you can we sit down and we handle these things that is when your countenance changes changes hapo ndipo sura yako inabadilika vile umeumbika wewe si wa kuitwa mkutano na mwanamke you can't be called to a meeting by a lady mimi me. Yeah, and in hitwa mkutano at at my wife we are having a small me. meeting. Tuko na mkutano kidogo. Mkutano. Hiyo meeting ni lazima nitokane na meeting kama hapa ni kwangu. As you come from me. If you are this in the wrong. Basi ndugu uko katika makosa. Kubaliane tu vizuri. You are in the wrong. Uko katika makosa. Because a sister can call for a meeting. Hiyo kama ni ya watu wangapi? That that house is for two people. Goja. Hiyo mm. boma ni watu wangapi? That house is for two people. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Sio kuepa mkutano ya dada, kuepa na unaenda na unakaa, unasaulisha una kidogo na unakuja kuita hiyo mkutano. Sasa ndio ikweni yako. Then call for that meeting. Hiyo <laughs> sisi ni wandugu. Na tunajua. We are brothers and we know this. Na pia wandugu. Yeah. Dada ukiitwa mkutano If you are going to cause you. Mke mke wako kwita na akakuambia. I want us to take a walk. Nataka twende safari kidogo. I want us to go. There are some things I want us to discuss. Mambo nataka tuzungumzie. Don't start talk, talking about who is going to close the chicken. Who is go, ni nani atafungia kuku, kuku? Ni nani atawachana mm. na mambo ya kuku? Kwa hiyo sikiliza muzee anasema nini. Listen to what your husband is telling. Na ndio maana. That's why There are hakuna outing mingi sana kwa sababu ya complaints. Many outings because of the complaints. Kwa sababu bwana wako akikwambia vaa nguo twende. Your husband tells you dress up we go. You are not supposed to ask. Afai kuulizia. Unaenda wapi? Where are we going? <laughs> Umeambiwa na nani? Who has told you? Your husband. It's your husband. Usianze kumwambia unajua siku hizi nimesikia wanaume wameanza kuchinja wanawake sasa unaanza kuona nipeleka kuchinja. Wewe vaa nguo twende. You dress up and go. Maswali na majibu tutapata wapi? Mbele. You'll get them as you go. Na ndugu anaweza kuwa alikuwa anaenda kuku surprise. Maybe the brother was going to surprise you. Na unalete nyenye nye hapa. Mm. Unalete pananga. Mm. Unalete mm. mushene. Mm. Unalete mm. sijui nini. Yes, oh hata mimi sijui mm. ati twende yes. tunaenda wapi? Na ndugu yako pale mbele na wewe uko hapa nyuma. Sasa hii tunaenda wapi? Kati tumeacha mboma. Sijui ni living the house. Tumefanya nini? Nilikuwa nataka kwenda kuuza mayaya yangu. I wanted to go and sell my eggs. Vaa nguo. Dress up. Twende. And let's go. Simple. Mm. Raisi. Amen. Um. Unajua kutii. Okay. No. You love the Lord Jesus. Napenda Bwana Yesu yes, Kristo. Complex. Vinyongo. <laughs> Vitu vidogo sana kwa nyumba. The very small things. Even when people are neighbors. Mm. Have you ever seen the spirits Unazam. of neighbors? Rows up as a majirani. Vitu vidogo tu mnakosana juu ya Small something very kijiko mm. ilipatikana kwako kama right now Andrew is a, is a neighbor to to to, to our friend brother Mumo Andrew ni jirani yake ndugu Mumo Mukicheza if you play mnaweza chezwa na shetani you can be played by the devil not only Andrew not anybody else who is a neighbor hata mtu mwingine yote ambaye ni jirani jirani hey, kijiko ya fulani ilipatikana kwangu nani alileta huku who brought it Hai? Sweta ya mtoto sijui ilikuwa wapi kwa nani ilikuwa inafanya nini all of a sudden Satan fights you completely shetani anakupata kabisa na unajua shetani anajua kupeleka the devil ile, knows ile inaitwa unapeleka hivi anaangalia anaona okay, wacha niingize hapa let me put it uh, there is another person there wacha niingize hapa na mkianza kugongana vitu du du anasema mali anacheka kwa sababu sasa ameshinda because he has won there Let us always know Satan. Daima kumfungia shetani. He wants to to uh, uh, to interrupt our neighborhood. Anataka kuvuruga ujirani wetu. Just from nothing. Kutoka kwa jambo maliko. And finally, na mwisho, if I am not careful, kama sitazingatia, it builds into a complex. Inakuwa sasa inakuwa kinyongo. I build an opinion on, on this family. Na mtazamo I build an opinion hii. on the other family. Mtazamo fulani kwa familia fulani. When families are together, they borrow familia, each other things. Wakiwa pamoja wanaombana vitu fulani fulani. Amen. Mm. Nipe unga. Give me some plan. Nipe chumvi. Give me salt. Nini, this, that. Something like that. Mm kitkayo neighborhood ujirani mwema but satan will make sure like he will Shani kill everything atahakikisha amevuruga kila kitu hallelujah amen kama ndugu ndugu wako na ngari brother the brother brother onesmas brother ndugu onesmas na kuja na muomba comes and borrows kwa heshima in respect 
Hai tu gonesma za naniangalia na niambia. Ai, looks at me. Unajua si konangi uh, vizuri. Mm. Mimi naona kama unaweza uza ngari ya mtu. <laughs> you look like you can sell this uh, someone's yeah. car. Kulingana na vile ninakuonanga unaka yani kuna kaujambasi mm. kana kuanga ndani ya kaujambasi wewe una kaujambasi kako hapo ndani in there <laughs> Hallelujah Amen Siwezi nikakupea I can't give you this eh, na ndugu ukikosa kunipea wewe niambie ni kwa nini kwa sababu Don't give me tell me why Kama ni kaujambasi nipeleke mbele ya Mungu take me take me to the Lord in prayer Amen. Mm. <clears throat> Now you see a domestic sorry. Uh, I think I have talked too much about this. He says in 38. You are having trouble at home. Una shida nyumbani. A domestic trouble. Shida ya kinyumbani. That's right. Ni kweli. He says. Anasema. It is your husband. Ni mmeo. And you are praying for him. Na wewe unamuombea. Cause he is unsaved. Kwa sababu hajaokolewa. No. Sir, so I Kwa would be saved. Ningeokolewa. And I give my heart to Jesus Christ. So that these children could be well. Ili kwamba watoto hawa wawe salama. Amen. Mm. This one Uyo. wanted to get saved. Alikuwa anataka kuokolewa. Today, sikolewa. I would want Christ Dependa. to saturate my soul. Kristo awe katika roho yangu haijazi. So that ili kwamba my children watoto wangu and the rest na wale wengine. And I tell you. Nakwambia. Deep down in our hearts. Kilindi cha roho yetu. There is no strong prayer than the prayer Hakuna. of a mother. Hakuna ombi kuu kama ile ya mama. We can redeem our children back. Tunaweza kuomboa watoto wetu warudi. Kupitia maombi. Hallelujah. Amen. Whether atakama. Even if my son opens atakama mwanangu. Even if you find a certain son of a person opens a bar. Upate mtoto wa fulani amefungua bar mahali. Pitianga hapo naona msalimia. Pass there and greet them. Me I tell you this Na message ambia. will make you look Ujumbe look huu, weird. Itakufanya uwe wa kipekee sana. Tusikizane vizuri sana. Mm, let's get this. Mupigiange simu. Call him. Call him once in a while. Mpigie simu mara moja moja. But don't talk like this. Lakini usizungumuze hivi. You know me. Unajua mimi. I have all children. Na watoto wote. I have uh, 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 the seed of God. Na mbegu ya Mungu. And even I have the seed of Satan. Na pia mbegu ya shetani. If you are a child of God, kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu, there is no way. Hakuna njia yoyote. And I will tell you. Nakwambia. Is it Joshua who said Joshua. me and my house? Ambali sema mimi na familia yangu. Me and my house. Mimi na familia yangu. That redemption is you Mbuzi and your children. Ni wako na watoto wako. Usiwa isema nilizao watoto ambao watawahi potea ama ama mbegu ya shetani. No. Oh you are children. When we shall be seated at the table. And we shall be talking about redemption. They will be ukombozi watakuwa pale. How they will come I don't know. Watakavyokuja sijui. The prophet told us told even if you go before they come in. Atakama uende kabla wakuje. Even if you cross Jordan. Atakama before they come. The prophet told us one day they will come back. Watarudi. They may come wounded. Wanazarudi wame wapigwa pigwa majeraha. Wakiwa na majeraha. But lakini they are your children. Ni watoto wako bwana. Hallelujah. Amen. He said Straighten up your home that night. And make it right. Na ufanye sawa sawa. That tension will always be at the children. Shinikizo hiyo itakuwa kwa watoto daima. Umeshika hiyo? Have you gotten that? The domestic trouble which is always tensions here and there. Kwa nyumbani ambayo inaleta msukumo. The prophet told us that will always remain with the children. Hiyo itasalia na watoto. Do you believe? Na mimi hiyo. That I pray for your children. Naombea watoto wako. You can accept the healing of the children. Uponyaji watoto. You will do it and I pray that your husband. Naomba mmeo. This night we will become God's servant. Atakuwa mtumishi wa Mungu. So that your trouble will be ended. Shida yako iishi. Hallelujah. God's servant does not mean at the pulpit. God's servant. Mtumishi wa Mungu. They are born of the Holy Spirit. Wazaliwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Where by the Holy Spirit comes and indwells you anakuja na and from there on you will become God's servant. Unakuwa mtumishi wa Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. You love the Lord Jesus? Penda Bwana Yesu Kristo. Oh my. Amen. God help us. 
Because in slide 11 in slide 11 he says uh, let me slide this self discovery that is why it is very important self discovery is one of the greatest human inventions ukijielewa when you understand na ujue and you, you know the way i was made jinsi nilivyoundwa i have a weakness ninayo udhaifu fulani is called a stick nature inaitwa udhaifu wa kukwaza kwaza na i usually boil very fast at room temperatures daima nachemka haraka sana thank you wanga ninachemka haraka sana wakati tunabishana maneno hapa na pale mimi nimechemka haraka i boil very fast something in you rings a bell kitu ndani yako inapiga kengele it is called the antivirus it's called the holy ghost ile antivirus yule roho mtakatifu are we together amen today siku leo we have phones tunao simu yesterday jana there is a lady who there are, there are people there who usually discuss about things anaitwa ana, 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 nani saingine unampata katikati wanaongea home oh, oh, inahitaji kuwekwa oh, namna gani uh, how a home should be taken care of sijui simu simekuwa nini oh, phones have been this that a true believer muaminio wa kweli i will tell you the truth naambia kweli we will never have a problem with the phone of the wife hata iko na shida na simu ya mke wake ama mume wake because of something i'm going to tell you kwa sababu ya jambo fulani nitawaambia love is based on trust upendo unaikuwa msingi kwa kuaminiana na that day when you begin to feel na siku hii ambayo utaanza kuhisi kuwa your husband mume wako the reason why he delays kwa date anakawia pale katika lango ni kwa sababu he was deleting the messages mm. alikuwa anatoa ile zile jumbe ambazo ziko katika simu yake inajua amekaa sasa ndiye anakatakata you know yeah, there is now angalia sile sile sina kasi kuna love the, those that looks as if they have love hiyo anatoa sijui mm. nini delete that delete that mm. me kwangu when somebody calls me and tells me he Mtu, found text messages akinipigia na akasema atapata atapata or the wife atapata me i always say, i always take the opposite nachukua mtazamo tofauti because kwa sababu Afadhali usipate ndio unielewe. You don't get them so that you understand. Afadhali usipate. It's better you don't get. No. Mm. Uh, it's better you get them. Hapo. It's better you get them there. Kwa sababu because kama ningekuwa mtu mbaya ningezitoa. If I were a bad person I would have removed them. Lakini nimeachana nazo hapo. Because uh, and now I've left Because them. they mean nothing to me. Kwa sababu hazini hazini husu chochote. Anybody who calls me my dear Kitambo I used to have a problem with my dear yeah. but yeah. nowadays he yeah. doesn't I I nipeange shida okay. Kitambo alikuwa anasikia mtu anaita my dear nilikuwa nasema my dear my dear my dear my dear kumbe my dear my dear tu imetumika mpaka haina ladha until it does not have any test again hata unaita ngari oh my dear car even call a car my dear sasa hiyo imeharibika it has been wasted hata even babe Oh my babe, babe my babe ukiangalia unapata ni doli unaangalia mm. <laughs> unapata ni gari so kila kitu it's a doli being called my babe or a car so if you are a man so kama wewe ni mwanamume put things in your mind which will stick you for nothing katika nia zako ambayo itakusumbua bure tu hii mbingu ni ya mtu ngapi this heaven is for one person na wakati msioki atajua ya kwamba wakati anajaribu ku trick bibi yake ni yeye anakuanga anaji trick he is tricking himself he will stand with the truth asimama na kweli amen amen because kwa sababu we must reach at a place lazima tufikie mahali whereby i need to know ambao nafaa kujua that ya kuwa God has called us Mungu to be pilgrims. Kwa wanawe, and I am who I am by grace. Na mimi ni, niko nilicho kwa neema tu. Amen. Amen. He says, anasema hivi. Self discovery. Kujitambua mwenyewe. It has been one of the amazing things that I have noticed along the lines of the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jambo kuu ambalo nimetambua katika huduma ya Yesu Kristo is the peculiarity of people. That is brother. Ni wa watu. Ni watu ni tofauti. People are different. And the human and the study of human life is one of the greatest thing that a person can study. 
Amen. Utafiti wa maisha ya binadamu ndio jambo kuu ambao mtu anaweza soma. Utafiti wa watu. Mm. Amen. Amen. Umeisikia? They are deacons. Okay, I know the youth. Kuna mashemazi. The youth some because we are going to be electing deacons Ajua, and trustees. Ajua, there are some deacons. Mukisikia tunaenda kupanda mlima na deacon flani. You know that we are going to climb oh. a mountain with a certain deacon. Siendi. I'm not going. Siendi. I'm not going. Kama ni deacon flani. If it is a certain Siendi. deacon, I'm not going. If it is a certain deacon. Kama ni shemazi flani. I will not go. Ah, siendi. Kwa sababu huyo deacon. Because that deacon. Akikuja karibu na wewe na akwambie. When he comes next to you. Move, move a little. Ile macho unaangaliwa nayo. Na nasia ati ni kutaka kwake ameumbika hivyo. Well, no, is there is just that. Songa. Move. Songa. Move. Ndugu nakwambia songa. My brother I'm telling you move. Yeah. Mm. Na uki ukikaaka uki anakuja anakuiwa kwa kiti. Comes and takes you from that chair. Takes you. We need to begin to understand people. Lazima tuanze kuelewa ile watu. But there is another one. Lakini kuna mwingine who is very calm. Ambaye ni mtulivu sana. Kwambia. Kwambia. My brother. The other seat. The other seat. Hiyo mm. kiti nyingine. You know we are different. Najua sisi ndio ni tofauti sana. I want to show you something. Nataka kuonyesha jambo fulani. There are people. Kuna watu. If you see lies here. Ukiona chawa hapa. In my color. Katika chingo ngo yangu. There are people who will shout. Kuna watu ambao watapaza sauti. And they say, oh, oh, kuna chawa kwa kwa kala ya, ya brother 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 Andrew. Kuna chawa hapo katika nguo ndugu yangu. That is one type of people. Kwa sampuli moja mtu. But they are okay. Wako sawa. That's how they are made. Wameumbwa hivyo tu. But there is another one. Lakini kuna mwingine. Who will come and salute Amai. Andrew. Atakuja salimia Andrew. Na atachukua hiyo chawa na atatoa. <laughs> and takes it. Ataua. Na atatupa. Na Andrew will never know whether there was chawa Andrew katika kola yake. Kama kulikuwa na chawa katika shinga. Those people marry our daughters. Watu hao wanaoa binti zetu. Those people marry our wife, our, our, our husbands. Watu hao wanaoa watoto wetu. Those people are also here today. Watu hao wako hapa siku leo. Amen. Amen. Maybe I'm one of them. Wenda mimi ni mmoja wao. Actually I am one of them. Hakika mimi ni mmoja. I am either of the two. Mimi si <laughs> Siko pale. Mimi ni mmoja wa hao wawili. I'm either of the two. I'm one of the two. Mimi ni mmoja kati ya hao wawili. Ambao wanapiga kelele? Uh, Chawa ni hiyo. That's, that's that's a lie. Na mwingine? Kuna mwingine? Ananitoa polepole. Pole. It comes and removes it slowly. God help you. Mungu akusaidie. Relationships are broken. Mahusiano yanavunjwa. Because kwa sababu of very simple things. Mambo ya rahisi sana. Something happens. Jambo linatukia. You tell your mother in law. Naambia mama. It's a complex. Ni kinyongo hicho. Unakuja unapata. Yaani. The mother of your wife knows mama everything. Mama mke wako anajua mambo yote. The mother of your husband knows mama, all your parents knows wako, everything. Mama anajua kila kitu. Even what happened yesterday. Yeye ilitukia hata jana. Ushajua. Ndugu. My brother. Do you know they have their home? Unajua kuwa wanao boma zao and this is your home. Nao hii hapa ni boma yako. I'm not saying don't tell them your si problems. Si wambie, but seriously. Lakini hakika. <laughs> Kuna mambo ambayo there are things ni yenu tu that are yours only. It's only for you. Yes. Mm. So therefore, ivo bas. If you find a brother who ndugu, tries to destroy somebody's else image. Ambaye anajaribu kuharibu uh, uh, umbo la mtu mwingine tu. Kana unasikia watu wanakaa mahali mm. yeah, wanachambua msioki wanamchambua wanamchambua. Kana mpaka sometimes talk, until kana unasikia yule mtu anaongelelewa yani ni kama ni shetani mwenyewe. It's like the devil himself. It's like the devil mm. himself. Mm. Kama shetani kabisa. Hmm. Watu wanakaa mahali people are sitting somewhere wanachambua dada wanamwaribu totally. when they meet wakipatana they are saluting and saying wanasalimiana anambia mungu akubariki i need to be a man enough nafaa kuwa mwanamume tosha that if i know this brother is not a good brother to me kama ndugu huyu i don't need to tell him god bless you sifai kumwambia mungu akubariki yeah mm acha niachane na yeye let me leave him alone amen 
Many times wakati mwingi people speak about others watu wanazungumzia watu wengine even without thinking hata bila kufikiria like we saw Ka- the case of Ben Brian kazi uh, uh, hali ya Ben Brian He was seen to be a madman. But something had happened to him in the war. Kitu ilikuwa imefanyikia kule katika vita. And when the doctors were operating his mind, they could not take away some of the nails. Hawakutoa msimari fulani. So some of the nails pinched against the nerves. Msimari fulani ikafinya neva fulani. And he acted funny. Naye akatendekeza kwa njia hiyo. It was very easy to think he is mad. Ilikuwa rahisi kufikiria kuwa ni kitu. But the Brandon knew. Ndugu Brandon alijua. The condition of this brother. Hali ya ndugu huyu. It is always important. Daima ni muhimu to understand a brother. Kuelewa ndugu. To understand a sister. Kuelewa dada. Amen. Hallelujah. And before I speak against them na kabla I need yao, to get to know nafaa kujua Hallelujah Amen Let me go on this he says Nde sema To watch the nature of people and different parts of the nations and the world to where you go Katika dunia pale ambapo unaenda You will notice that there is difference Utatambua kuwa kuna tofauti When you go to is it Tanzania or Uganda Ukienda Tanzania ama Uganda I don't know is, is it women who, who when they shake a man who is older they go down something like that amri, 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 amri. The nature of people Asili ya watu Amen na vile wameumbika The way they are made Hallelujah mm. He says Now There is different attitude that people take towards Christ also. Kuna mtazamo tofauti tofauti ambao watu wanachukua kwa Kristo pia. Even towards his service. Hata kwa ushirika wake. And towards his servants. Na kwa kwa And even towards worship. Na hata kwa kuabudu. Amen. Amen. There is a way people take things. Kuna jinsi ambao watu wana mtazamo fulani ya watu. Amen. Mm. If you go to Germany, ukienda kule Germany, where did Hitler come from? Hitler came from is it Germany? Germany. No. The prophet said when you go to Germany you will find a dominating spirit utapata roho ya kutawala roho ya kutawala because it was born in the days of Hitler kwa sababu ilizaliwa siku za Hitler utapata watu wanapenda kufinya wale watu ambao wamekuja kutoka nchi zingine stepping on people who have come from the other countries That's what they did to the Jews they chased them across all the way back but it was a spirit lakini mm. it was a spirit ilikuwa roho hiyo if you go to america ukienda kule marekani americans are jokers marekani ni watu wa ucheshu ucheshu tu because they love entertainment kwa sababu wanapenda burudani something small is an entertainment kitu kidogo ni burudani kidogo burudani they love jokes so much wanapenda ucheshi sana every country kila taifa they say way people are made kwa jinsi watu wameumbwa even in this message hata katika ujumbe huu because the message is meant for people ujumbe umeundwa na watu amen mm. there are people you Unawa. go to other countries who love zingine, fellowship ambao wanapenda ushirika wanapenda ushirika mm. sana they love Wana, understanding each other very well wanapenda kuelewana sana You go to other places? They don't even know the names of other believers. Hawajui hata majina ya waumini wengine. Wanawajuanga tu na koti. They just know them. Yule ndugu anapanga koti ya white. That brother puts on a white coat. Hawajui jua jina. They have never known their name. Hai. Hata hawajui jina ya mchungaji. They even know the name of the pastor. Anakujanga tu na ako na macho ngapi? Macho 4. And he puts on specs. But hatujawahi jua jina. But you've never known their name. Hai. Unajua nayo hiyo ni kurudi nyuma sana. That's taking yourself back. Mm. Hey, you know. Tunajuanga our song leader. Either kona 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 blue mm. kama leo mm. our brother, 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 brother there together with our, uh, my brother brother here. Mm. Yule alikuwa anaimbisha alikuwa na koti ya na auja auja fuatilia hata pale imeandikwa. He is called brother rich. Job. Yes. It is brother Onesmus. Ndugu Onesmus. It is brother Paul Mumo. Ndugu Paul Mumo. the songs. Anaongoza I mean Where is Sasa is e e ro ilikuwa ya Efeso ya ulegefu uh, kulegea tu spirit that was with the first Ephesians mm. just relaxing hata biashara unapata ni roho wa kuachilia wewe una una unapika kanimati mm. lakini ile ya kuonja unaonja nyingi zaidi ya ile utauza and you taste more than you will sell <laughs> Na, na unajipata hapa na calculator ukitaka kujua what did i sell today unapiga hesabu leo ni what did i eat 
nini <laughs> you forget about what you ate roho wa kuregea that spirit of just relaxing like careful about the things of god ujali mambo ya mungu hallelujah amen god of mercy mungu atuneeme kwa sababu human being binadamu let me just read this i finish then i pick this he says kisha Uh, uh, even towards worship towards his servants kwa budu watumishi wake amen mm. how much do you give for the offering unatoa ngapi kwa sadaka zako do we have a measure no tunao kipimo hapana but it is something in you lakini kitu ndani yako that is supposed to be in you ambayo inafaa kuwa ndani yako kujua kwa i am supposed to give nafaa kutoa worship without offering kwa budu bila sadaka but even if i don't have I need to give my art as a living sacrifice. Lakini wandugu. But brothers, if I have if when I was coming through the gate there, I met my in-laws. Then I gave them 500 to drink to drink soda. I come to charge that I give 50 bob. Where is the Holy Spirit? Roho mtakatifu hako wapi? Roho mtakatifu hako wapi? Na ninahitaji Mungu anisaidie pale na anisaidie pale. God to help me in this and in that. Seriously. Amen. amen. Hmm. Even my brother said amen. Ndugu amesema amina pale. Hmm. You know? Najua. There is God's international law in giving. Kuna sheria ya Mungu ya kutoa in giving. Kwa kutoa. If you give, ukitu, ukitu, you must receive. Lazima utapata. That is very true. That one you don't need to be a Christian. Hiyo, si as long Christo. as you give. Bora utoe. Somehow God is going to pay back. Njia fulani Mungu atalipa. He pays with interest. Na, lipa na faida. Without knowing. Bila kujua. God has no debt. Mungu hana deni. To anybody. Mm. Ya mtu yote hana. Amen. Mm. <clears throat> one of the things that has been is the type of the meeting. Hapo uh, 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 mambo mamekua. So let's go to 15. We have seen the nature of people. So, the reason is because human beings are multilayered. Amen. Mm. The in them they are layered. Amen. Wako katika ni kama wameingizana. Wameumbwa katika muingizano that yeah, the way you see a tree okay. when, you you cut, when you cut a tree and you see the rings that is how the years went by you know, miaka so, so human being sasa, is multilayered pia wanao hivyo 16 he says sasa anasema hivi we are multilayered tunayo just click again click again amen so human beings so, are multilayered binadamu wako na hivyo viwango Because they are made up of environment. They are made up of past experience. They are made up of culture. They are made up of custom. They are made up of traditions. Amen. 17 he says, when a person realizes he has an inferior complex. Mtu anapotambua kuwa anayo kinyongo au some sort of complex. Ama kinyongo fulani, how may I may, may he overcome this? Anaweza shinda vipi? Should it be if He, he was the only child caused this in his early youth kama alikuwa mtoto wa pekee katika nyumba yao ilileta shida katika ujana wake take exactly the opposite chukua kibadala if you are always wanting your way kama daima unataka njia yako and the one little brat that wants to always have everything your way na jamaa unataka kila daima wakati wote mambo ni turn right back around and give everything you got the other way na upeane yote ambao uko nayo that is how to fight an inferior complex hivyo ndivyo kupigana na hii kinyongo and if you are selfish na kama wewe ni mtu wa and you want to hold everything na unataka kuwa na kila kitu then start giving away what you got anza sasa kupatiana yale ambayo unayo do whatever god the face fasa fanya chochote enda kinyume that is the way to overcome anything is an a dot ya kushinda hiyo ndo dawa ha thank you hiyo ndio dawa that's what the prophet tells us 
Hallelujah. Amen. It is very important to get to know Kujua. and to get to understand na that we are dealing with persons. Give me slide 40. We are dealing with people who ambayo, the inner child yule mtoto wandani, if the inner child was wounded in life yule mtoto wandani, maisha, who when I was young mtoto, that child is still alive huo mtoto, bado siku ya leo. and when we get married tukiwana, ako kamutu that person starts coming up Kale kale kasirishwa, kabisa, that one that was angered starts coming up. And it affects our marriages. Na, it zetu. affects our relationships. Na, wetu. Not even relationships with the people. Si even with the work. Hata Amen. There mm. are people who are ever late in job. Kuna watu daima ni watu. They sign last. Mm. Wana, wana they mwisho. sign in last. Mm. Wana mwisho kabisa. Na kila wakati anaingia tu akiwa anabeba koti. Every time he comes carrying the coat. pale kwa HR. Mm. I am Come. so sorry. I was late. Mm. Mm. I'm so sorry. Ne, tomorrow. Ah, 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 ah. I was matatu nilikuwa na mgomo. Matatu. <laughs> Sasa kila siku uko na jambo. You have something. And na sio hivyo. And it's not that. Lakini wakati wa mpira. But the time of uh, football. Ah. Mm. <laughs> Unaingia is it moi in inaitwaje? Inaitwa Nyayo. Yeah. Nenda nyayo. nyayo saa 12. Nyayo stadium. Ndio mm. unajua hiyo, ndio unajua hiyo ni complex, sio 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 ati ilikuwa shida nyingine. Hiyo ni kinyongo. complex. Hiyo ni kinyongo hiyo. Hallelujah. Ah. You love the Lord Jesus. Napenda bwana Yesu Kristo. Now the prophet says. Sasa nabii anasema hivi. 50. A complex is a condition. Kinyongo ni hali. There is a brother who got into a complex. Kuna ndugu ambaye alijipata katika kinyongo. Amen. Mm. I want you to listen to this because Ata this could be one of us. Or hii, even myself. Ni mja yetu. Yeah. There is a brother who was called brother Wei. Kuna ndugu ambaye alikuwa anaitwa ndugu Wei. He went through a complex. Alikuwa na kinyongo fulani. And look at what he only started thinking about. Tazama ambao eh, nambia yangu. Fifty-one he says. And this morning when making my confession of having complex. Asubuhi hii nikizungumzia hali ya kinyongo. So brother Branham also had a complex. Ndugu, and I'll tell you where it came from. You remember when he lost the wife? You remember when he lost uh, the, uh, who? She was who? Is it Sharon? When he lost Sharon? Sharon. And the father? Na babake. He got into depression. Akaingia katika shinikizo mawazo. But people did not know. Lakini watu that we Yakuwa. are dealing with a patient. Then the wakati who huyu mtu ambaye mnamuona hapa is a patient. This person that you are seeing here, yeye ni mgonjwa. Ni mgonjwa. Mm. Because kwa sababu he wanted to take you remember he got a hold of 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 the electric pole I mean wire. Alishikilia wire. Ya he wanted steam. to kill himself. Alitaka kujua. He had already built himself around a complex. Tayari alikuwa amepata kinyongo. Another time, Wakati he mungine, wanted to shoot himself. Alitaka kujilipua risasi. Another time, Wakati mungine, when he was waiting for the message of the bride. Alipokuwa anangojea ujumbe wa biarusi. He felt that he has preached everything. Alihisi kwa ameubiri mambo yote. But God showed him. Lakini Mungu akamwonyesha. There is another climax that you must go. Ndio kilele fulani ambayo unafaa kuelekea. Amen. Mm. You know what he thought? Alifikiria. He thought he will go to the wilderness. Alifikiria kwa angeenda nyikani. And come back like the old prophets of the whole testament. Ndio kama wale na manabii wa kule nyuma kwa agano la kale. So he said I will go to the wilderness. I will not wash. I will not wash. Sita sita oga. And then I will come when my beards have grown big. And my hair will be big. So I will come and say, Thus says the Lord. You know what God told you? go and read the message called standing in the gap. Branham, God told him, if you go that way, my wife is going to leave you. There are things that God might intervene. If you go that way, your wife will leave you. Because he started going to the mountain and, and he started and, and, and admiring the mountain. Anasema hapa yonitaleta watoto. 
mbili atakuwa Bili. anakaa katika hii hii hi, hi, kamulima Bili, na mimi nilikuwa nitakuwa napanda pale kama Moses for me I'll be going there ah, like Moses ya yeah, ya yeah, ya yeah. Mungu akateremka God came down and told you are called your ministry is evangelical ujumbe huduma yako ni ya evangelist you have to preach to people wearing a tie like yourself lazima uhubirie watu ukivaa tie kama kama wao kama wao Brother Branham, Dr. Branham. Not only that. See you too. They got into a hotel with Billy. Wakaingia katika hoteli na Billy. Brother Branham got in the seat. Dr. Branham akaketi. All of a sudden. Mara moja. There was an old man. Kulikuwa na jamaa fly mzee. Who had a very long kabuti. Ambaye alikuwa na kabuti mrefu sana. And he, he never used to wash. Na hakuwa na uga. He had a very long goti. Na alikuwa na goti mrefu mrefu. Kidefu kidefu kirefu sana. Akaingia tu pole pole. Get got inside there. Then he sat somewhere. Kisha kaketi mahali. He asked for some food. Akaitisha. Brother Brandon and my had that man so much. Brandon akamta. Baka Billy akakuwa konzani. Ali Billy akam. Ni nini anataka pale kwa yule mtu? What does he want from this guy? So that man, ka mtu huyo akapiga chafya. It is in the, it is in standing in the gap I think. Katika kusimama katika penga. Chafya. Hakius. Sneezed. Mpaka ndege ambao walikuwa katika miti wakatoroka. In the in the trees flew away. You know what brother Branham said? That is me in the future. I want to be like that. Nataka niwe kama mtu huyu. Billy called him aside. Billy akamuita kando. Akamuliza daddy. What do you admire in that man who does not wash? Mimi unatamani kwa mtu huyu ambaye hataogi. Brother Branham, Branham was already in a complex. Tayari alikuwa katika kinyongo. Let me tell you friends. Hata niwaambie marafiki. We are not immune. At, uh, Atujadungwa mm. shindano mm. ya kukosa kuwa na hii complex. We are not immune to this complex. But we have the Holy Ghost. Lakini tunayo Roho Mtakatifu. Hallelujah. Amen. So he was saying, sasa alikuwa anasema. He was telling brother Way. Alikuwa anambia ndugu Way. I refer to brother Way also of having a complex. Ni brother Way ndugu Way pia akiwa na kinyongo. He had a complex. Alikuwa na kinyongo. And brother Way had a condition of the heart. Naye ndugu Way alikuwa na shida fulani ya roho. His, his heart used to mama. Alikuwa ananungunika. His heart. Roho yake ilikuwa na. You know the way you have a vibrating heart. Moyo ambao unadunda dunda sana. Una vibrate. I don't know if you have ever had a certain condition like that. Ndio kama whereby unasikia roho you feel inafanya hivyo all the time. Your heart is vibrating all the time. It's a vibrating heart. Mm. And brother Branham had seen it. Na yeye ndugu Branham alikuwa ameiona. And because of that it brought a certain condition. Na kwa sababu hiyo ile ndio way and brother way did not brother way could always ignore. Na yeye ndugu way hakuwa anaizingatia. So one day, sasa siku moja, brother way came to the to he, he, he was discerned by the prophet. Ndugu way alipambanuliwa na And he refused. Na akakata. He said no. Asema I'm apa. not like that. Siko hivi. Because kwa sababu a complex you don't understand it even yourself unless you are told. Hata wewe mwenyewe hauielewi hadi uambiwe. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. So he refused. Saka kata. When he refused, Alipo he fell down and he died. Alianguka na akafa. Before the prophet. Mbele ya nabii. And sister Way, na dada Way, I think it was sister Way, really cried to the prophet. Akalilia nabii. And brother Branham went out there. Eh, ndugu Branham akaenda kule nje. They picked brother Way. Wakachukua ndugu Way. He was confirmed to be dead. Aliyakikishiwa kwa kwa. And Brother kufu. Branham prayed for him. Na ndugu Branham akamwambia. Actually from the pulpit. Kutoka kwa mimba. Came back to life. Naye akafufuka. Now I want you to listen to this. Sasa nataka msikize. He says, anasema 52. He says, uh, 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 that I referred that is the fit one. I referred to Brother Way also having a complex which is suddenly no more among Mbwe. all people. Ni kawaida miongoni mwa watu. Moments after that Brother Way was striking in a heart attack. Baada hiyo and dropped dead in the floor oh, is here. and dropped dead in the floor i seen his wife and i noticed i have been around many many people dying i do not have to say this amen and so that is when he prayed now for, for him then he says here pray that god will place in my heart that something that i lost out there in that complex now this brother Branham saying i pray god that god may re- return unto me something that i lost 
I mean, there is something that I lost there in that complex. It is so easy to build a complex. I had an interview the other day with Brother Wei. Sitting here, standing here in front. A good man but built himself around a complex. Another kind of a complex. Did the same thing, Brother Wei. You can so easily do it. Amen. If you just get a little something in your mind, keep thinking that way. Then you continue keeping like that. When you, you bring something in your mind, then you begin to think like that. Wandugu awanipendi. Wadada awanipendi. Mimi sipendi. I'm not loved. You are building something in your mind which finally will become a complex. Are we together, friends? The prophet says, if anything comes into your mind, go back and check it with the scripture. And see if it is right or not. Then go from there on. Don't lose the feelings of the people. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't see that people don't love you. Oh, usiwe yona ni kama uko peke yako. God must reveal to you. Mungu lazima akufunulie. Even if all the friends leave you practically. There is a friend. Kunae rafiki. Call the Lord Jesus Christ. What a friend we have in Jesus. Rafiki mkuji sikai ambao tunayo kwa Yesu. Amen. This man called Jesus is one Jesus. of the greatest opportunities a man can ever have to to be be a, a friend of Jesus. Me, I don't take it lightly. Being Jesus' friend. Oh my. Mm. Hallelujah. Um. See, you must so, remember now. The God was telling the prophet You have reached the place That you have lost the feelings to the people Because you see that the, the message is not being received and and then, The prophet starts evading people You must yes. remember in 56 They are not meant out of sawdust What do you have to say? They have feelings And they are not made of wood And that is what we need to know even as believers. When something happens here, in this conversation, we should come together all of us and state to even if we are just a few. There's, there's nothing that can defeat us all of us. If we are holding each other together. Amen. Mm. We don't have to be 10,000. We can even be 5. And we can still do things. Are we together friends? Amen. 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 He says, Anasema. they are flesh and blood and human beings have a soul. Amen. 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 Pray for me. Niombe. All of you, if you will, and God kama bless you. Mungu Hallelujah. Amen. We saw that is 59. Tuliona. This complexes is an, in, is an inward wound. 59. Childhood wounds, which is actually a complex, creates an inward emptiness or a branding. Get this. Brother Branham said and we read this in 16. I have always been a black sheep in my family. And I have always in my church a black sheep. And it is just recently that I have been begin to come into a group of people that love me. Hallelujah. Because we read that one, give me 66. Then you label yourself. Because a complex finally. Because the devil wants himself to be, to be, to be the victorious one. So finally, you label yourself as a damaged good. I am beyond repair. Are you? Mimi, job. 
Nimeharibika I am beyond repair. Muniombe, musiniombe. Sio lazima nimbe ama ni. Na ukikaa unaanza kusikia nyimbo, nyimbo za dunia zinaanza kukufutia. Sile sinasema being attracted by the world songs. So ukiingia kwa matatu ambayo inapika. When you get into a matatu, unajipata unafanya hivi. You find yourself dancing to the tune. Na kitambo huko unafanya. And before you are not doing that. Mpaka saa nyingine unashtuka. Wakati mwingine unashtuka. Kumbe ya Christian. Mm, Christ. Me, me ni Christo. You go and read. Enda usome. Brother Branham said, there's a difference between a, a Christian and Not just a being a Christian. Kati ya Mkristo na kuwa Mkristo tu. Just being. Kukuwa Mkristo. <laughs> God help me. Mungu anisaidie. Hizi nyimbo. These songs. Sinaimba watu wakirudi nyuma. Play. You never even People hear. Oh, I don't even to matatu za kwenda Rongai. Sister, sister, go to is going to Rongai. Unaingia ndani unakaa ni kama ni kama usiku. You enter you wonder. Na ukigeuka hivi hapa kumechorwa nyoka kubwa. Drone a very big snake. Na uko nyuma kumechorwa kumechorwa Bob Mali akiwa ukitaka kujua hili ro. Yaani the driver of that vehicle is exactly that. that all what you are seeing that is who he is mambo yote katika hiyo ni mwenye huyo hiyo gari mm naona ndugu ako na bicycle see a brother with a bicycle amechora kule nyuma chino moja mswaki wa nini unajua hiyo maandishi kuna vile inamaanisha chino moja mswaki wa nini you have one teeth why, why do you need a toothbrush <laughs> dada anaenda ananunua leso a sister goes and mm. Baiza leso. Leso imeandikwa sengenge ni ngombe. <laughs> okay. Sengenge ni ngombe. Sengenge ni ngombe. You know words of power. Maneno yana nguvu. That is why we don't come to church. Ndio maana hatuki kanisani. With t-shirts zenye zimeandikwa tano tena. Ma t-shirt imeandikwa tano tena. Kibaki tosha. Hizo t-shirt hizo ni za kwenda kutoa kutoa nini avocados kwa shamba going to harvest avocados na kutoa maembe huko and harvesting mangoes somewhere uruto hizo mm. uzilete hapa <laughs> don't bring them to the church no i don't know if i'm communicating sije kama nawasiliana not that i don't know god help me because Sibabu. i don't want Mungu to be misunderstood idea. Because I'm only bringing out a point. Because God has an order. Anayo taratibu flani. Wezi vaa t-shirt. Na kutanaka na pijana. Wana vaa t-shirt huku sinandikwa Red Devils. Red Devils. T-shirt maandikwa Red Devils. Manjitu. Mekundu. You have seen those t-shirts. Red Devils. Bob Marley. Bob Marley. No. We are of another kingdom. Tunau falme mungine. Sisi Even when you are buying clothes mm. check angalia kuna ndugu mwingine akinunua nguo tukikutana wanga na niambia hebu angalia hapa tells me na angalia hapa imeandikwa tukson it has been written tukson majina ya kule kule na bia litoka anaangalia tukson unapata mshipi umeandikwa arizona a belt written arizona wakati anaangalia pale kwa sunshine boutique unajua boze tunanunua kwa sunshine boutique sisi tunainuliwa hivi anatafuta kale kama ameandikwa Tucson he looks for the one written Tucson Arizona so huyu mtu mwenye anamuuzia hata yeye ajui that's that's that doesn't let you ameandikwa Arizona anamwambia chukua kwa bao take it 20 shillings amen amen we are supposed to have something i am supposed to have something in my heart nafaa kuwa na kitu katika roho yangu that always keeps me in a balance ambayo kila daima inaniweka katika mizani amen amen 67 damaged good uh, kifaa ambayo imeharibika wewe unajiona ya kwamba mimi nishajiweka lebo mm, you have given yourself a lebo a name but i want to show you something lakini nataka kuhakishia jambo when you look there there is the lebo called damaged okay, good pale kitu imeandikwa eh, eh, vifaa ambavyo vimeharibika huyu ni mtu ameisha kabisa person who has you remember lady is makabi finished. lady makabi mm, damaged me. goods vifaa ambavyo vimeharibika then Kisha. that box hicho kisanduku 
has been pressed by it life. It has gone through so much. But inside, inside, there is a thermos. But now I want to show you something. Don't never label yourself as damaged goods. 68. We are a tuned being, spirit, body, and a soul. So, in that, go back to 67. 67, we have the covering. Then we have the container. And we have the content. If you buy something that it is, is always in threes. There is the covering. There is the container. And there is the content. Now, according to God, God does not look at the container. God does not look at the covering. God looked at the content. And the content is what is inside the box. And what is inside this box? Because we are a twin being. What is inside this box? Is my soul. And my soul, when it hears this word, is like recognizing your name in the last book of life. Hallelujah. God does not look at the covering. Who is you? God does not look at the container. He doesn't look to see you in your spiritual realm. God looks at the seed. Hallelujah. Amen. Outside, how could you be damaged? Even brothers would be knowing me as a damaged brother. They could even label me as, as a damaged good. Amen. Mm. Even because of what has happened to you, it's very easy to label yourself as a damaged good. Amen. And I will show you an example. Hallelujah. Mm. Look at this. Because we are a true being in 69. And as a very God of peace, sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, your whole spirit, your soul, and the body. How many are you? Your spirit, your soul, your body. That is the scripture. The word of God dissects you like that. Your spirit, your soul, and your body. We preserve blameless unto the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that called you who also will do it. Now look at this. 70. We have two perspectives of anybody who has come to a shop. When you go to a shop and you want to buy a milk, the whole box, or you even want one in that big box. When you look at where it is coming from, first of all, you look at the container. Because that is a human perspective. So the human perspective Sasa, looks at another person mtazamo, binadamu, with the spectacles of mtu mistakes. Mingine, kwa mtazamo, wa macho yake mwenye. Wa makosa. Wa, oh, mm. Mutu wa kikuangalia hivi, amevaa miwani ya makosa. Mm. That is how human beings mistakes. are made. Hivo ndivo, wanadamu wa meumbo. Amen. Mm. But, Lakini, there are two perspectives of the above. The consumer's perspective because he thinks about the covering and the container. When you go to the shop, you see 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 the sh
that uh, and Ni say give me that maziwa. give me that meal kwanza unaangalia inatoka kwa box inakaaje yeah, first you look at the box that is box in, in kaa, fadi, if that box Ay, looks abana, funny say no. ingine, na si hata ile iko ndani ni mbaya no that the one that is inside is bad no two, ya you pili, look at the covering unaangalia so kifuniko the covering kifuniko unaona we imemwagiliwa maziwa ingine juu been for some some other milk so First of all ya kwanza, you have looked at the container you have container. looked at the covering Kishonga, but you have kufuniko, not checked the content lakini ujangalia bidhaa ambayo iko pale ndani the content ile ambayo iko pale ndani milk inside ni maziwa ambayo iko pale ndani which the milk inside ambayo maziwa ambayo iko may not be bad exactly si mbaya the consumer's perspective looks at the covering Mutazamo, and the container wa mnunuzi ni kuangalia ile but the creator's kutu. perspective lakini uh, mtazamo wa yule ambaye anaunda hii bidhaa who is the creator The Lord Jesus Christ. He looks at the name in the Lamb's book of life. So redemption looks for the content So redemption looks for the content. Amen. We don't look God does not look at you by what you went through. He looks at you by something else. Kwa jambo fulani Amen. He looks at you by something else. Kwa jambo tofauti. Now let me read something here. Sasa nisome jambo hapa. Which I'm sure ambayo nina uhakika is going to help. Itasaidia. Do you know this man called Peter? Najua jamaa huyu anaitwa Peter. He almost built himself around around a complex. Alikuwa karibu anajiekea kinyongo. I don't know if I have it here or I don't. But I want to show you something. Lakini nitakuonyesha jambo sorry is um, 82 just peer pressure cost her a complex which put peer. her in an insane institution peer pressure ama uh, ushawishi wa, wa wenyerika ilimfanya kuwa na kinyongo ambayo ilimweka katika hospitali ya wenda waziri here is a young girl hapa kuna msichana mdogo very beautiful mrembo but she started thinking something in her mind lakini akaanza kuwazia mambo fulani katika just something comes into your mind ndio fulani nakuja katika nia yako and it tells you na inakuambia unless you have a car ila uwe na gari you are not normal wewe si wa kawaida and you begin to look for a car kisha unaanza kutafuta gari sasa and something tells you na kitu inakuambia it's not just a car like ile yangu si gari tanga ile ile kale carol kanga anaitwa probox Sigari tu mimi huanga nina nashukiwa na kila mtu askari yoyote nikitokea by everyone you know with the probox you are judged a before you are heard mm. unahukumiwa kabla kusikizwa hata mm. mm. unaweza kwa um, unabeba bang mm. you might be carrying some bang inside there everywhere, everywhere. kila mahali kila kona all corners ai maaskari mpaka saa nyingine wananiambia oh kumbe ni wewe oh, it's you just pass <laughs> now sasa me i'll tell you something Tawambia jambo. You build something in your mind. Unaanza kujiwekea kitu katika nia yako. Unless I have a car and a, a certain car. Ila niwe na gari na gari fulani. I'm not a good husband. I'm not mimi, a good husband. Mimi si mume mwema. Unless I be this. Ila niwe hii. And hiyo kitu begins to build some pressure in you. Start building some pressure ndani yako. And finally. Na mwishowe You get into a depression? Unaanza kupata shinikizo akili. Amen. Mm. Now listen what happened to this. Sikiza, I was kanda. looking for brother if you see because I'm looking for Peter where Peter almost got into a depression as I read this. Naposoma hii. He says, anasema hii. Peer pressure cost her a complex shinikizo which put her in an insane institution. Limletea. Now listen this lady. Just came in wazi. from California the other day. Kutoka California siku ile nyingine. He's got my suitcase in. Ali had been home for two months alikuwa nyumbani had been home had been home had been home for two months alikuwa nyumbani si kwa nyumbani si kwa nyumbani miezi miwili ah right at two months i got about the second suitcase miezi miwili ikapata ile suitcase yangu ya pili now the phone ring sasa simu ikapigwa it was a lady ilikuwa binti fulani now i want you to listen to this sana nataka kusikiza hii i will read this Then I read Peter. Peter. Then we finish. Kisha we will shall pick it up. Tutaendelea sikio. Now, sasa listen to this lady. Sikiza hii. Well, she used to be kind of a girlfriend of mine many Ay, years ago uh, when I used to be the pastor of Milltown Baptist Church. Kike nilipokuwa mchungaji kule Milltown Baptist Church. 
She had two lovely daughters. Alikuwa na binti wawili wadogo. And she married a fine man. Na akaoa jamaa fulani mzuri sana. Brother Half. Ndugu A. Now listen. And he was he was a mill worker, right? He had one of his fingers and the thumbs cut off. Alikuwa viganja vyake vilikuwa vimekatwa vidole vyake. A very nice brother. Ndugu mzuri sana. That is now the person who had married this yule jamaa ambaye alioa msichana huyu. Is it is it married? Yeah, then he said. Kisha then they had two twins. Kisha wakawa na mapacha wawili. Twins of another girl. Mapacha wa dada. Making three children. Kisha so this family. Na, the the lady who called brother Branham. Uh, Branham they now had these girls. Walikuwa na. Listen to one of hao. the girls. Listen. She built a complex. Sikiza jinsi alivyojitengenezea kinyongo. And the twins were stout Christians. Nao hao mapacha walikuwa wa Kristo kabisa. They were UBE people. I don't walikuwa know what that. Kwa watu wa UBE. But they really believe God. Lakini waliamini Mungu kabisa. One little girl going to school. Mtu mmoja aliyena shuleni. She got a complex. Naye akapata kinyongo. The girls tell her. Wasichana wenzake walikuwa wanamwambia. Walikuwa wanamwambia. Mm. Well, Very. why don't you smoke like we do? Kwa nini hauvuti sigara kama sisi? Remember we have said Muka it is mtumisa. very easy to build in a complex. Ni rahisi kujipata katika kinyongo. Now you think you are better than we are. Sawa. So, we... Why don't you go to dances? Now they didn't go to dances. Now, now they didn't go to dances. No, no, neither did they smoke or drink. And they made fun of the, this girl. The other girl, she said, mm, let them jump in the river. Acha waruke katika mto. I am the one serving Christ. Mimi ndo natumikia Kristo. Let me tell you friends. Niwaambie wasichana wadogo. And young boys. Na vijana wadogo. Young men who are coming up. Wanaume wadogo ambao don't jump into the river. Usiruke katika mto. Don't be fast to jump into the river. Usikue haraka kuruka mtoni. Take your stand. Kuwa na msimamo wako. Am I talking to somebody? Nazungumzia mtu. Take your stand. Kuwa na msimamo wako. And even if anything ever happens. Hata kama jambo fulani litatukia. Don't stay in the fall. Usisalie pale pale mbanguka. Raise up your hand. Inua mkono wako. And tell God God of mercy upon. Na uambie Mungu ni neemeni. This girl said. Who msichana alisema. I will not go into those rivers. Sitaingia katika mito hiyo. Of drinking and dancing. Ya kukunywa na dance. He said. Alisema. Now listen what is going to happen. Sikia. Because those those friends will not leave you like that. Sababu hao marafiki hawatakuacha tu. They don't want to so let them go ahead. Hawataki basi waendelee tu. But what but the other one? Lakini yule mwingine. She begin to think. Alianza kuwazia jambo hili. Now look at this one now. Who uh, oh, had a very strong stand. Now she, na she begin to think. Na akaanza kuwaza. Oh maybe I could do something. Lo huenda ningefanya jambo fulani. Si nifanye jambo tu. Let me do something. Kwani kuna nini? What is it? That is what very many people say. Hivyo ndivyo watu wengi wanasema. Mm. Mm. They start very small. Wanaanza kidogo tu. Unaambiwa? You are being told. Si ni bangi. This is bangi. Sisi tunakunywanga. We smoke it. Na hatujawaenda kicha. And we have never run mad. So what you do? So what? Vuta mara moja tu. Nafanya. Take one puff. Sasa jana wamealalisha shisha. Jana. Yes, Unajua shisha? You know shisha. Tunajua shisha. You know shisha. Ile mnavuta mkoa watu wengi na murija. Na mnatoa moshi mpaka hiyo moshi ni ya kufuruta. Inakuwa nzito ni ya kufuruta kando. Unaambiwa vuta tu mara moja. Being told just take one puff, one puff. Kuna kitu umesikia? There's something you feel something now. Na kuna spell. Okay. Naambiwa tena. Another one. Nasikia kuna vile bangi inavutwa, sio tu inavutwa. Yes. Inaingia mpaka huku. Of taking the puff. Unaanza kuona mawingu. Start seeing clouds in a certain way. Wanakuuliza. Wana, wana and then they ask you. Kuna kitu umesikia? Have you felt anything? Okay, sasa wacha tufungulie John Walker. Mm. Let's open John Walker now. Mimi najua haukunywi mingi. Mm. This one you don't take it. Just a small one. Kunywa. Take it. Na wanakuangalia. And then they look at you. And then they laugh. Kuna Check. kitu umesikia? Have you felt anything? Mm. 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 Ah, no, I've not felt anything. Sawa sawa. Very well. Shetani, the devil, achezangi, does not play. Wewe ambao anakuambia vuta bangi hata kuonyesha miaka mitano utakuwa pale kwa barabara ukikosenya makaratasi. You'll be on the road picking papers. 
He will hide that from you. But Jesus, yes, when you come to him, he will tell you how tomorrow is going to be better. I better become a friend of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. God help me. Stand on the promises of God. He says, Now, or oh, maybe I could do something. Or maybe uh, when and, I then, a and she built a complex. She got nervous. Amen. How many times do you go to your phone and you open spiritual songs? And you put the earphones and you Unaika, go walking. Earphones and unenda, and because sababu, me, when I meet with brothers and sisters me, in the streets, na na dada ya kule mitani, hmm, sometimes na heza kuona ho, uyu ni brother. Mingere, so ni na mkaribia pole pole. Get huh? close to him. So ni na musalimia. Greet him. Oh, how, how are you doing? Uko vipi. So I, I can see you are, you are, yeah. Na now, sometimes you can tell. The song that was being listened there. And others are very open. Pastor, I mean, I In company, there's someone called Katito. Sambido. Sambido. This one. Alikuwa na, alikuwa na alikuwa na imba sijui nini sijui kaka something night sijui sijui inaitangwa aje something night alikuwa na imba so mimi nilikuwa nasikiza and i was just listening let me tell you friends tuniwaambie marafiki there is a god who says kuna ye mungu ambaye anaokoa let me out tell myself mimi najiambia let me continue coming to church. That's what the prophet said. kuja kanisani hivyo ndo nabii anasema. I'm quoting the prophet. Na nukuna bi. Continue coming to church. Endelea kuja kanisani. Until finally you come to Christ. Hadi mshoe uje kwa Kristo. Because kwa sababu it is only the sick who need the doctor. Ni wale wagonjwa ndo wanahitaji tabibu. And when Come. I take away this phone from my children. Ondoa simu kwa watoto wangu. Niwaambie sitaki kuona mtu anashika simu na, and, and they are going on the phone. You are not helping them. You are only postponing a problem. Unaairisha tu shida. Amen. Amen. When you rule your family in a military way, Ukitawala that one does not mean you are a man. Familia yako kijeshi, even you ni sister, when you Anadana. rule your family in a military way, Ukitawala familia yako kijeshi, tumejaribu wale wa kitambo na imetushinda. And it has failed. Although ilikuwa very militant. Kama ilikuwa kijeshi jeshi. Lakini Mungu anakupea ufunuo mwingine. God gives you another revelation. To know how to work around your family. Kujua jinsi ya kushughulikia familia yako. Amen. Amen. Kuchapa inasaidianga lakini tuwa tu certain age. Kening helps but to a certain age. Amen. Mm. Kuna mahali munaweza anza kuchapana hapo yes, na wewe uanza kupigana na mtoto wako. Mkienda kuripoti. When you go reporting. Wa OB munaandika kuna andikwa wa Kenya wa wili walikuwa wana pigana. It's written two Kenyans were fighting. Na mtoto wako. Mm. So you and your two child. Kenyans were fighting. Wa Kenya wa wili walikuwa na pigana. Walikuwa na fikiria utaripoti mtoto. You thought that you will report your child. Hallelujah. And if I am a child, kama mimi ni I'll mtoto. always respect my mom. Daima nitamtii mamangu. I'll always respect my my dad. Daima nitamtii babangu. Amen. And the dad will always build an atmosphere Daima around the children. Tengeneza mazingira kwa mtoto. That they don't fear him. Ambao haupogosi. He is supposed to be our protector. Anafaa kutulinda. Amen. Hallelujah. So this girl, Sasa, huyu, she built a complex. She got nervous. Na wasi wasi. You know what happened? Na she went inside. Just because of that. Kwa sababu tu ya. Ati nini? Bas siwache ni 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 tu. Just let me continue. Then she Kisha. she built a complex. Akapata she got kinyungu. nervous. Akapata she went inside. They had her in an insane institution. There are people who are in Madhare. They are not supposed to be there.
It's just, it's not that they are sick. Please let me read this because we are going to get something out of this. Please look at that door. It is banking itself. He says, the year died in an institution for two years. They was trying to doctor her to buy her all kinds of stuff and treatments and everything. It didn't work. Injected and she's not sick. So then when I got in home, they said, Brother Branham, they got her over in a Catholic institution there. And Monday they are going to send her to Madison. That is a pandemic cell. Amen. That does it. She is 18 years old and a genius. Those are our children. So those are our children. The child is the child. You wonder what is this that happened? My son, my daughter. What happened? Nili kilitukia. Tutaona complex ya pesa. You see that kinyongo cha You only sent your mother. Paka your mother anashtukanga. Ni nini ilikushika wakati ulikuja Nairobi? What? Yaani unatumia your own mother 500 shillings. And please get me because hiyo inaweza kuwa ndio unaweza kuwa uko nayo. Lakini hiyo ndio unaweza uende uko nayo. Uko na 10,000. You have 10,000 na your own mother but your own mamako mwenye. Who bore you? Ambaye alikuza. Na ali ziko vile ziko leo. And the way the things are, the way they are today. Na wewe hata hiyo miatano. And you, that 500. Uwezi hata nunua anything mukule na watoto watano. You can't even buy something to eat with your five children. Na unatumia your own mother, your own father. 500. And you send mamako wa mamako, shilingi miatano peke yake. Imusukume mwezi mzima. To take him or half for one month. What is this? Isn't that not a complex? You are your mom. Your mom. Your mother. Take that five hundred. I don't have money. But mom, take five hundred. Take you for one month. Seriously. What do you mean? Where are you going to get your mom when she is walking? Miatano. Five hundred. Iyo hata ukitoa ya nyama. Even if you take. Na ile kasukari ya kule. Ya kule. Kule mustuni na hitu wakaute. Ile ya shilingi nane. Eight shillings sugar. Akinunua kitungu ya sujui ngapi. She buys onions. Yani. Your mother will stay taking porridge. Mamako watasalia ki. Akikunyua. Na we wakati unaenda nyumbani. Sasa wakati unaenda kumutembelea. Ndiyo unabeba nyama. You carry meat. Na ukibeba yu nyama munakula, munazimaliza. Na unagutu. So she remains with nothing. Haya na baki bila chuchote. God of mercy. Mungu atuneeme. It's a complex. Iyo ni kinyongo. It's actually a complex. Wakika ni kinyongo hiju. Lakini ukienda ile inaitua baby shower. When you go to baby shower, when you go to baby shower, you give them money. I don't wake up that I have a mother or I have a father. Whether he smokes or whether he does what, he is my father. And he is my mother. And please let me say this. Because it has come. You know what? I know. Najua, when we get old like we are, tunapopata umri tunapolivo as parents sisi wazazi our children stop investing in us watoto wetu wanakosa kuwekeza kwetu because kwa sababu you only invest where unaweza saidika unawekeza <laughs> where you can be helped are we am i saying something mm. so sasa na yeah. si hawa watoto mimi najua hawa watoto ni wazuri kabisa mimi naongelea juu ya watoto wengine ndio tushike picha so I am saying this. Our children stop investing in us. Because our lives are over and we can't help. So since we were of importance when you could pay fees. When you could do this. When you could carry you and take you to school. So when you carry you and take you to school. But then, that investment was good at that time. But when the years go, and then, uh, <laughs> and then uh, you, come, you 
Big Wama na kivuli. Being carried out. Mbuzea kwa hapa tupa nyumba, anaangalia nga kuku. The man is there, the house. Anatembea pale, ana, 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 ana fiagia, fiagia. Hiyo ndiyo kazi yake. Sweeps the compound. Kasa watoto wanaona. So the children, Mbuzea. The children look and see. Ameisha. The old man Ama, is getting off. Thank you. The old man is, 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 is worn out. Away. Mm. Mm. Ana ideas, mm. hata za biashara, hata za nini. Ana fikra za biashara na mambo kama. It's a complex. Ni kinyongo. It's a complex. Ni kinyongo. We must always remember. Lazima tukumbuke daima. Hallelujah. Amen. That we are fathers. Ya kwa tunao baba, mothers. tunao mama zetu. Are we together? Amen. 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 And we must pray for them. Na lazima tuwaombe. And us as parents. Na sisi kama wazazi. We must always remember we have children. Lazima tukumbuke tunao watoto. That we need to commit them to God all the time. Weke kwa Mungu daima. And you take them as equals. Na hiyo una. Kwa wana wakiwa wanatoshana kabisa. Amen. So what happened? Sasa kilichotukia. The prophet. Nabi. These people called the prophet. Hao watu ambao waliita nabii. They were taking her. She was 16 Wazwan. years old Wazwan. and very genius. She, 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 uh, she, one of these perfectionists. Kabisa. Mm. She even teaches opera. Hata anafunza, uh, Isima soap operas. Mm. And the play is over to you. Is Na. it over? Brother Gideon is in Nini. Oh, Umenda. That she, she even plays over, over tunes and teaches music Nine. as 18 year old. Anafunza vipindi na anafunza muziki pia. Kama Just a real yes. smart girl. Msiana mdogo. A real good Christian. Christo mzuri sana. And they couldn't understand. Na haonge elewa. But she is here at the inset. So when they said they was going to put her there in the funded cell, they give her, I forget how many shock treatments. Amen. Mm. So now you know what happened, just to cut the story short because you can read it. Now, they called Brother Branham. The mother of this girl remembered that Brother Branham was a friend of the mother of this girl. And she remembered this man called Brother Branham used to pray for people who are So he said, uh, that is 91. And so the little mother said, I remember so, Brother Branham used to be down here. And they used to tell us about Jesus Christ being a healer. I have heard all the kinds of newspaper reports and the things about where he's been. Amen. Now I want to, I, I want Nataa Kuruka Nikuje because of time. I come to, to now. Brother Branham now finally comes from overseas. He comes in the house and he goes straight to meet that girl. So now when, when he went, now he said, 94, sat there when he got in, he said, pretty little thing, little 18 year old little darling about that high. Akaona msikana mbao ni murembo sana wa ki, kiwango hicho. Little darling, great big soft pretty highs. Na macho ya naupindeza sana. Setting there. Akiketi pa. Oh, just in a terrible condition. Akiwa katika hali mbaya. Just like that. Hivu tu. And I say, now listen to this. Nami ni kasema. And I say. Nami ni kasema. You remember me, Margaret? Unanikumbuka, Margaret? I want to show you. Nataka kuonyesha. How this complex Jizi. and the way it was coming from. Kinyongo hiki. Na mahali ambacho. As much as. Mm. Mradi. It was an influence from the children Ilikuwa, from the rest of the girls kwa kwa wale the wengine. prophet is going to get it. She said, Asim. you remember me, Margaret? Said, oh, no. Asema, I said, I am Brother Branham. Mimi Do you remember me? Na nikumbuka? Billy, Billy, you used to call me down there. Ulikuwa when ulikuwa you ulikuwa. come, you was a little bit pumpkin ulikuja. scene, little bit girl. Ulikuwa msichana mdogo, Brother Branham knew how to, mm. to tell, to express how people were. Little bit of pumpkin seed. The last time Begu I seen you all little bit dressed like mm. that, don't you remember me? Unikumbuki. Say, oh, great big eyes, you know, Macho looking maku, like maku, that. Maku, and I thought, I sat with my, just kind of put my legs across the end of the bed. The end of the bed. 98. 
And I said, do you remember me, Margaret? Margaret? And that just kept on looking at me. She couldn't make out nothing. He said, say, Brother Branham, Branham, only thing she could keep talking about is about blood on the highway and the things like that, saying funniest things. So this girl was so actually getting insane because kicha. she was talking about blood so and other things. Damu. I said, how long has this been going on? I said two years. I kept talking to her. Oh, but the grace of God. Just in a few minutes, the Holy Spirit began to move in. I said, Margaret, Margaret, you don't know me? I said, Oh, your life. Since you have been in, uh, big enough to know about boys, you always in. Now listen to this. Because this is where what made this girl to get insane. The prophet said, Since you have been big enough to know about boys, you always had in your mind that you was going to marry a preacher. You wanted to marry a preacher and she started to smile. So the prophet found where the problem was. She started to smile. That caught it. I seen the Holy Spirit edit. And then I said, that says the Lord. It is over. And I thought, what did I say? What did I say? And it is over. Can you imagine a complex that takes a lady to an innocent institution just because in her heart she has always wanted to marry a preacher. And maybe it was not time. She was just 18 years old. She was 18 years old. So it was not even late. But the Holy Spirit caught it. When the prophet mentioned that, the girl woke up. The amnesia went away. And the prophet pronounced healing there by there. The Holy Spirit is the one who knows our hearts. The Holy Spirit and this message has healing in his wings. It can heal any condition. It can heal anything. Even now. Hata sasa Brother Branham said. Let me finish there. Brother Branham said. It is so easy. To enter. Into a complex. Amen. Amen. That is why. Relationships don't work. Amen. Amen. That is why Domana, families have lost love. Familia imepoteza upendo. Amen. Hmm. That is why Domana, ministers, including me, uduma, hata me, they don't want to preach the whole message. Ubiri, ujumbe, yote. They are still wearing gloves. Bado gloves. God help us Mungu and help the ministry. Na that this Uduma. message is preached the way it is. Amen. Because people have added water Watu maji to the message. Kwa ujumbe. <coughs> they have neutralized it. Like it does not mean the way it meant. This message ujumbe huu. would stand quoting. It will stand quoting all the time. It has never changed. 
The way we picked in, in 1977. The ones who were there. And they believed the message in 1977. Amen. Mm. You know sisters, the way they used to wear. Going to hapa. The dresses were reaching. One day we went to convention in 1986. And there was a sister. She had, she had ile, ile, ile ni ni wanga ina, ina mm. Mm. Ile, ile 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 akaongeza ile inawekwa mahindi wacha ile ya ya saiso kuna hizi zingine za nowadays mm. ya nylon mm. akafunga akatengeneza she she some kule. Extra so that bandle. she can be a sister ili awe dada yes mm. now i am fulfilling the yes, scriptures akimiza maandiko amen mm. brothers walikuwa Lugu... wananyolewa jordan walikuwa wananyoa kabisa Kwa nywele ya ndugu imekuwa kidogo hivi. Halikuwa naendewa na wandugu ngini unatuangusha mm. wewe. You are letting us down brother. Unatuangusha. Noe mara moja. Mm. Go and shave one. Hai. Mm. We. Na siku hizi unaweza angalia ukaangalia. Uka, uka, uka angalia. Uka ndugu. Ndugu nilikuona. Brother Paul. Nilikuona 1986 and you were black. Is it black or dark? Black as if you Dark. Nikuwa mweusi. Mweusi thank you. Lakini siku hizi naona umekaa you are so brown like a, like a white. Umekuwa mweupe. Ni nini imefanyika? What has happened? Kumbe ameoga na nini? So, na jik. Yeah. Wash himself. Sisters wengine niliwaona kitambo. Na sisi kama tukikaa sana na tupigwe na njua kama wanga tunachesha. A, a long time being sure. Lakini hiyo sijasikia sija bado. Mm, but I've not heard of that. Dada anaenda anajipaka ana, mafuta. Sister goes and anatoa hiyo blackness yote, anatoa blackness, blackness kabisa. Mm. Wengine ukicheza utakaa kama chapati. Play, they even become like chapati. Yeah. Mm. Utakuwa na nini hivi 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 hivi. hivi. Semu nyeusi nyeusi hapa na pale. And you know what you are doing? No, you are interfering with your epidermis. Unaitafiana na ngozi yako. Inaitwa epidermis. This top epidamis. layer ambao mm. ndio ngozi yako ni mwingi ya... sana. You cannot be operated after you do that. Some of them you look and see blood running there. But if I have ever done like that, it was in the days of my But now I know. Don't do that to your body. Amen. Amen. Unapata wandugu wamechora nini? Brothers, ati ndugu anaenda ana ana anasema tatui. Text. Unapata ndugu, tattoo. ndugu amechora crocodile hapa, crocodile, crocodile na kukuja kutokea. Na ndiyo maana, saa ingini hii shati mpaka yende ikiwa imefunguka kidogo. Yes. Ndiyo mukaya mukaya mkiyo nanga crocodile. Bit. So that you see Hayo the crocodile inside. Hayo ni mapepo inside. ambao inatoka mbali. Those are demons from very far. Amen. Mm. <laughs> Hai, atu unatuambia. Surprise! Unato, Surprise. Unatoa Surprise. crocodile. You remove a crocodile from my chest. If you are married, kama ume, ume, or if you have married, ama kama ume, you should never do something in your body when your husband or your wife is not aware. Kitu kwa mwili wako kama mke wako ama mwako ajuu. Mm. Don't tattoo yourself when, when you are, she is not aware or when he is not aware. Jike tattoo kama hajui ama yule mgini hajui. A family is a limited company. Familia ni kampuni. Are we together? Mm. It's good to speak these things. It's a limited company. Familia ni kampuni. Lazima tusikizane. We have to agree. On some things. Kwa mambo flani flani. Amen. You love the Lord Jesus? Napenda bonetu yes Christo. Hallelujah. Amen. This lady. Msiana huyo. The prophet caught it. Nabia ali nasa jambo ilo. Amen. And she woke up. Nae akagutuka kama. You wanted to marry a preacher? Alikuwa ataka olewe na mubiri. The subconsciousness in her had driven her insane. And even the doctors in that insane, well, they had injected her some drugs. So they never worked. This lady was actually normal. She only needed somebody to walk with. Just to recognize her. Amen. God help us. Mungu that we give out this message the yeah. way it was. Yeah. And if we give it like that, it will give out the right results. Hallelujah. Amen.
you love the lord jesus apenda bwana yetu yesu kristo stand up tusimame amen amen pick up your broken pieces Chukua. my precious brother job that is let us sing with some strength Tui. amen sorry sorry, sorry. amen there's a song that says pick up Now, your broken pieces as we go vile vipengele vyako ambavyo vimevunjika amen na ulete kwa Mungu you know it amen are you willing to pick up your broken pieces na nia ku kokota hivyo amen amen shall we sing it pick up the broken pieces and, and bring them to the lord. lord pick up the broken pieces as us only one he will put them back together and make your life complete just place your broken pieces and the savior as more time pick up the broken pieces and bring them to the lord pick up the broken pieces trust in his holy one we will put them back together let's clap our hands make your life complete just place the broken pieces and the savior's feet amen is that the whole song yes oh, that's it. that's all yes. all right amen today you are willing to pick up the broken pieces amen, amen. amen. give me aunt in hand with jesus 357 aunt in aunt with jesus can give it give it that That is the man I want. Huyo ndo mtu ambaye Who can lead me? Ambaye anaweza niongoza. Amen. Who understands me? Ambaye ananielewa. He calls me with my complex. Ananiita na vijoko vyangu vyote. But he gives me something in my heart. Lakini ananilipatia jambo jingine katika roho yangu that gives me to know. Ambayo inanifanya kujua how to go over my complex. Jinsi ya kushinda vinyongo vyangu. We shall see on Sunday as we build up. Tutaona siku ya Jumapili tunapoendelea. We build it up with what you call temperament. Tunaendeleza na kile ambacho tunaita temperament ama mtazamo wa mtu. Amen. We have different temperaments. Now mtazamo wa mtu. We see the way the prophet. Na tutaona jinsi nabii ametuambia. Once from my poor sin sick soul Christ did every part and roll Amen now I walk redeemed and whole Amen and in and with Jesus Amen and in and with
The complexes of humankind they date back to many years. And you carry a baggage. It is stored in your subconsciousness. But you'll never push it over to anybody. When you have the antivirus, when you have the Holy Ghost, give me the whole time religion. When you have the Holy Ghost in your heart, it will protect anything coming in and that which is inside and it is godly will always be kept safe. I need the Holy Ghost. The quickened word that we have heard today. Amen. Is the whole time Holy Spirit and the devil would go near it that the reason people fear it that is good enough for me. Ooh, give me that whole time religion. Love our hands. Old time religion, give me that old time religion, and it's good enough for me. It will make you stop your life, it will save you when you are dying, it will start a devil life, and it's good enough for me. Give me that old time religion. It is what has made us who we are. And finally, it will take you all to heaven. You love the Lord Jesus. Amen. Shall we pray? Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. And it's good enough. Our dear Heavenly Father, I need the whole time religion. Because 
sababu, it doesn't change. Aibadiliki. It is the same yesterday, today and ni, forever. Ni ajana, leo, nata, it worked in the days of Paul. Ilifanya kazi siku za Paulo. In the days of Elijah. Siku za Elia. In the days of Malachi 4. Siku za Malachi 4. And it is going to work in our day. Na itafanya kazi siku zetu. Oh, the Holy Ghost religion. Lile dini ya kiroho mtakatifu. That is what I need. Ndicho ninachohitaji. In a time Wakati ambapo, like this Lord kama ubuana, because of kwa, the burden of the time kwa sababu ya mizigo ya wakati people have got into complexes watu wameingia katika nyongo it has affected the believers imeadhiri waaminio it has affected the house of faith imeadhiri nyumba ya imani you told us ulitwambia the sickest body is the body of christ mwili uliougua zaidi ni mwili wa kristo oh blessed lord we bwana mbariki but we thank you there is power in your blood tunakushukuru kuna nguvu ndani mwako there is power in your word kuna nguvu katika neno lako as we join our faith together tunapoungana imani zetu we visit the homes of our brothers tutembelea makwa wa nyumba yetu we visit the homes of our sisters tutembelea nyumba ya and Lord Jesus Amor by Jesus faith kwa imani, Satan is uncovered Shetani amefunuliwa Whatever he has built as a complex Totota amekienga kama I nyongo. pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Naomba katika jina la Yesu Kristo Just like that lady Kama yule mama Sister Margaret Sister Dada Margaret The Holy Spirit caught it Roho Mtakatifu alinasa hilo And the prophet says that says the Lord Na nabii akasema hivi asema Bwana Now from now on you are well Tangu wakati huu umepona The doctors came and they confirmed Madaktari wakaja kudhibiti and that lady was discharged. Na huyo akatolewa hospitalini. Oh blessed Lord. Eh bwana barikiwa. Maybe I have been wrapped by a complex. Pengine nimefunganywa na kinyongo. I have been a bother to so many people. Nimekuwa msumbufu kwa watu. Father. Baba. May you speak a word today. Baba kanene neno leo hii. So that the amnesia may go away. Ili usingizwe kiroho kanitoke. Maybe I have never understood the saints. Pengine sijawaelewa watakatifu. But today. Lakini leo hii. You have spoken a word. Umenena neno. That takes away the amnesia. Ambaye inaondosha usingizi wa kuzalala. Maybe I am a minister. Pengine na 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 dada na I am a minister. Pengine mimi muhudumu. I have preached in the position of a complex. Nimehubiri katika hali ya kinyongo. I have heart believers. Nimekwaza waaminio. I have heart sisters. Nimekwaza dada. I have been biased. Nimekuwa na mapendeleo. Lord, I raise up my hand and Naino mikono yangu. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Christo, I need the antivirus in my heart. Nahitaji ile kinga ya Kristo wangu. Roho mtakatifu that balances my spirit. Ambayo inaweka ukiasi roho wangu. Even when I am at the pulpit. Hata nikiwa mibarani. Oh, we love you Lord. Bwana tunakupenda. Maybe I'm a parent. Pengine mimi ni mzazi. Maybe I'm a husband. Pengine mimi ni mume. I have misused my family. Pengine nime Bring fire on either the children, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus. May today be a beginning, Lord. That I'm going to take a new beginning, Lord Jesus. Because Satan has been exposed through the preaching of your word. Oh, we love you, Lord. We commit our young girls in your hands. We commit our young boys in your hands. We commit those who are in school in your hands. Oh, blessed Lord, you are the only man who can give us a sober mind. We love you, Lord. So that we can even know how to govern our families. How to govern our businesses. Lord. How to lead our homes. How to stand in a healthy relationship. We love you, Father. Forgive us of our weaknesses and shortcomings. In the way of unbelief. We thank you, Father. I commit this dear ones unto you. If there are some who are sick here. Father. Baba. They may not be able to come in front. Others have troubles. Others have complexes. Others are out there. They are streaming. Father. Baba. You know the troubles of mankind. I am sure you understand. In the name of the Lord Jesus.
Touch them in a special way. Waguse na uziguse kwa njia maalum. Heal their sicknesses. Ponya magonjwa yao. Go before them. Enda mbele zao. As a consuming fire. Kama moto uteketeze zao. I commit this fellowship in your hands. Nakabidhi ushirikao mkononi mwako. And all the believers who are in here. Na waamini wote walioko hapa. Continue to bind us in love. Endelea kutushikanisha kwa upendo. We love you Lord Jesus. Kwa kupenda bwana Yesu. As we move on father. Na bosonga mbele baba. You give us the right vision. Utupatie ono sahihi. And the good and the right stepping. Na atua sahihi. As we continue to wait for the soon appearing of Christ. Amen. Which is the change of our bodies. We love you, Father. We commit all things unto you. Kwako. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We pray and believe. You love the Lord Jesus. Give God a club. I'm so sorry, friends. I've taken some time. Samani I had requested on Sunday that if you'll allow that I will push the service a little bit. So I've taken some time. So keep praying for the ministry. Let us pray for each other because we need each other in this journey. I know Brother Onesimus will be coming uh, but uh, we, we are, let us sing a song. Wimbo. A brother, brother, you have a song that you can sing. Una wimbo Amen. There is a song that I wanted us to sing. Um, man, of, man of Sorrows. Man of Sorrows. That is 193. Our precious brother Onesimus is going to appreciate the visitors among us. I'm so happy that I'm seeing quite some friends. The Lord bless you so much. Let us continue to hold on together. Please pray for me. And let us pray for each other. Amen. Amen. Man of sorrows. Will you appreciate our precious brother Job? Ah. And our precious brother Andrew. Andrew Oh my. Amen. You know, Pastor Wahano told me. The potentials in that young man. Yani, ule uweza mboko ndani ya ukijana. Is so much. Ni mwingi. And uh, you have not come the last. Dogo, siyo mara mwisho kuja. You are still coming. Utaku ukija. You have to help this man here. So, kisikia tukiitana through Pastor Wahanu. Kisikia umeitua. No, no, that we, we want to support each other. I like the way our precious brother Onesmas is, is really training, uh, training very many people coming up. And we really thank God. Amen. We thank Amen. God for the team here. At least, uh, I think Satan is defeated. Why don't we give them Shetani a clap? Leo ameshindua. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. We thank God for his grace and mercy. I'm trying to remember something that I've forgotten. I bring you greetings from Pastor Mwendwa. You have received them? Amen. 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 Uh, man of sorrows. One so blessed Christ of beauty Hallelujah. was filled up from, from human view. Amen. But through suffering, death, and sorrow, He has rent the veil in two. Oh, beyond the man of sorrow, oh, beyond the need plain view.
Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Jem mefurahia. Mefurahia ibada ya leo. Amen. Tukumbuke mchungaji sana katika maombi yetu. Tumweke katika ibada sana. We have greetings from the from this brother Eliezer Mokobi from South Africa. He's in a place called Polokwane. He is also Sister Maina, we call her Sister Maina. She's our neighbor here in Roy. She was streaming. We have um, his brother Joseph uh, Ndaru. Joseph from Embu in streaming. He, he was here on Friday. That he had a function at home. So. He's at home, but he was streaming, so he sent it greeting, greetings. We have uh, Brother Daniel Mutie from Somalia. He's also streaming, and he has sent the greetings. Have you received them? And we all say, Amen. Amen. We have uh, beans for sisters, for Zile beans, Ambazo sisters, one answer to me, Akateka washrooms. Tumepata mbili na ziko kule kwa sababu ya matumizi. Na tutakuwa tukize empty every Sunday after service. Tutajua njia kudispose. So I think we have catered for sisters needs there. And... Uh, E, kingine ningetaka kuwakumbusha zaidi ni mambo ya tithes and offerings kwa sababu mnajua maana hapa ni maana tumekodisha tunazihitaji and you know giving tithes and offerings ni wajibu wetu sio mambo ya kuelezewa mnajua vizuri so please make use of those payment numbers ili tusaidie for the furtherance of the gospel. Kuna mambo ya ubatizo kwa wale ambao wangetaka pia kubatizwa. Please reach out to the pastor or any brother that you see is acting as a deacon. Ili tusaidiani. Maybe you have that need, na maybe you are, that need is not met. So please see the pastor. Na umembe mingine tutapanga. Sunday school. Can we appreciate Sunday school? Please. Sister Chome and Sister, Sister Onesmas, eh, Sister Adasa, Esther there. Please tafadhali tunawahitaji asubuhi kwa sababu ya kushughulikia watoto wetu so tafadhali mufike mapema sababu so, Sunday school ina saa mbili na nusu please be here ili tuelekeze watoto wetu kwa njia ambayo inafaa kwa sababu neno linasema wafunze watoto njia inayofaa na wakikua hawatafanya nini Awata iwacha. So ni viema kuwafunza na mapema. Yeah, so I think sina mengi ni hayo. Visitors among us feel appreciated. Ukuje tena. Brother, God bless you. Amen. Sister, God bless you. E, mukuje tena. Hili ni kanisa la upendo. Kila wakati. 
mujihisi hapa ni kama nyumbani muje tena na tena brother give us 98 song number 98 our lord's return to be your song for dismissal then or we can still continue praising the lord if you don't feel going home brother choko I am watching for the coming of the glad Mirino day when our blessed and Lord shall come and catch his waiting bride away. Oh, my heart is filled with rapture as I labor, watch and pray, for our Lord is coming back to us again. Oh, our Lord is coming back to us again. Yes, our Lord is coming back to us again. Satan will be bowed a thousand years, will have no tempted men. After Jesus shall come back to us again. Jesus coming back will be the answer to a soaring cry. For the knowledge of the Lord shall lead the other sea sky. God shall take away your sickness and the suffering just will die. When our Savior shall come back to us again. Oh, our Lord is coming back to us again. Yes, our Lord is coming back to us again. Saturn will be bound a thousand years we love. Jesus shall come back to us again. Yes, the Lamb's Son of the Lord shall come to Zion then with joy. And in all his holy mountain, nothing has so shall destroy. Perfect peace shall reign in every heart and love without a Lord. After Jesus shall come back to us again. sing another one as we dismiss mm, once my soul was astray from heavenly way mm, once my soul was astray from the heavenly way and was wretched and far as could be but my soul And for me, 
when he reached down his hand for me. Oh, I was near ring this bell 